Hello, and welcome to another episode of How To RPG, the video series about teaching the basic mechanics to various tabletop RPGs. Today, we'll be playing a one-shot of Fiasco, which is a one-shot RPG anyways. My name is Jordan, or JT, and then we'll go counterclockwise to introduce the other players. So, you'd like to go first? Hi, uh, I'm Cauliflower. I am type O negative. Uh, I'm Brom, uh, playing as Bob Blah Blah. Hi, I am uh, Gore or Gorilla Gore. I do some occasional streaming on Twitch. And uh, there we go. There we have our players. Uh, this is all of our first time playing Fiasco. So uh, right before the intro, we kind of did a quick crazed uh, explanation of the rules. So we'll be staggering throughout this entire game, which will be utterly fun. Um, the packet I wanted to pick out, I decided we shall play with the packet ice. Yes. Yes. So Ice, ice, baby. Yeah. So what is this packet? This is basically the scenario uh, of what we're going to use to play in. So uh, it's the setting, uh, what kind of characters we're going to make, and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, so um, while we get that, uh, someone would like to select all the dice and roll them and leave them in the pile. I'd oh. do it. Cool. Can you shake that dice? Shake it like a Polaroid. Eh. I didn't want it running off the table, so I... Alright. Boom. So, uh, we'll start picking out uh, relationships... Uh, and a bunch of other stuff to create the social web. So, uh, each player will have a relationship between the players to the left and right of them. So, I will have a relationship with Gore and Jacob. Uh, Jacob, you'll have a relationship with me and Bob over there. Uh, Bob will be with Gore and Jacob, and so on and so forth. Make sense? Yes. Yep. All right. So uh, the starting player is the player who grew up in the smallest town. <laughs> Jordan, where do you consider your town hometown? I, I guess Sydney, because technically that's the limit of it. So in that regard, it we're is at yes, about sorry. we're at about twenty thousand on ours. I haven't a clue. Upstate New York somewhere. <laughs> New York, I assume, always big. <laughs> well, it's in the farm area, so not so big. So maybe not. Mm. Yeah. Near Rochester. All right, someone look up Rochester. I am <laughs> on it. Uh, what about Gore? Does Gore live in the big city? Yeah, I've been a big city person. That's why I kept my mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> Figured. <laughs> It's near Rochester, or it actually is Rochester? Uh, it's uh, just suburb of Rochester. Consider it Rochester. Rochester, New York, yeah. That looks like a decently sized town. It's got its own three-digit interstate going around it. <laughs> 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 All right, Jordan, I'll give it to you because you live on the outskirts. <laughs> so okay. technically your population is like four. <laughs> I, can't, I guess we'll I guess we'll consider it where I went to school, which was in the country and the middle of nowhere. So we'll go with that. So I guess I'll go first, and also I guess since I'm the host, it makes sense anyway, since I partially know what I'm doing. Alrighty, so uh, I call rigged. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Up, oh, we lost a player. Oh well, uh -oh. I'll continue on without him while he reconnects. So, I was thinking on a relationship idea. So, uh, you can also you can also set it up. Uh, we can all work together to kind of uh, formulate this plan. So, like, I can give Brom and Jacob the uh, die. So it's like I'll pick. I'll pick six and I'll give it to uh, Brom and Gore for the soul uh, relationship category. So we'll mark that down uh, in the relationship category. Soul. 
Well, actually, we'll just mark that off as the category itself. Soul. Awesome. So. So where's sorry? Where's Soul showing up? Right, flipping it, people. Um, it's uh, <laughs> this one right here. Get the ping tool. Oh, you're on that card. Okay. Yeah. That's why I was. So I soul. flipped it to see if it was on the. Oh, it's on two separate. See, I thought it was on the flip side of the card. So my goal, All right. my idea here is, I think uh, Gore and uh, Brom would be good for setting up as the uh, newbie, uh, old timer kind of situation, since Brom is an experienced role player and Gore, I have no idea what your experience with role playing is. All right, I thought you were basing this on age. It's going to get personal there. <laughs> oh, gee. <geez. laughs> no, you, you, I have no idea what what age you are, but you are a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> so handsome, he couldn't even have a profile picture with yeah, break the system. Right. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's also played Nosferatu on the series. That is true. So. All right, with that, uh, we'll go clockwise. So, Gore, it is your turn. Or, no, wait. Yeah, be Gore. So, so where is that marked so we know what that is going forward? Be right here. There are little cards uh, that mark uh, the relationship okay. between the players. So, you have uh, one between you and Jacob, and one between you and Gore. Uh, me and Gore have one between each other, and me and Jacob have I one see. between each other. All right, cool. so that's where we'll be recording that information. And you're filling out those cards, all right. Yeah. So, Gore, your turn. Oh, um... You have all these to pick from. Be easier to set up the relationship first, though, I guess. So you can either set it up for someone else, uh, if everyone's on board, or you can set it up between you and Brom uh, to elaborate more, or set it up between me and you. We can, we can uh, me and you can sit down and collaborate um, on what we kind of want to do for a relationship between each other. So we can do a... Uh, sure. All right. So there, we can do a work relationship, a friendship relationship, a romantic relationship, a criminal relationship, a community relationship, or a soul relationship. Probably not do soul because that one's already used and we are also very limited to the dice that we have. Um, we're going to do four or wait, I want to do crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have a four? Yeah. We have a four. All right. Cool. Four is used. <laughs> so our relationship category is crime. All right, Brom, your turn. Okay. So I picked this between... Um... Basically, for anyone that's left, I can pick the relationship, right? Yep. All right. So I'll just do myself a cauliflower. And then I've got to pick something where there's a dice left. Yeah, I'm trying to say the six because I want, I, I think my character, I kind of want him to do uh, his needs, needs to get out and uh, get out of the ice, which is driving him insane. So I need a one and a six. Also, the last die is considered a wild card. So basically, the last die in play can be used for whatever. So there's also that to keep in mind. Uh, Wait, so once this die is used up, this is all we know about each other? Or like how... There's, a, there's, a, a, there's enough dice in play to set up the entire thing. Oh, okay, cool. So do I have to... In, first, to pick one of these... Uh, broad categories of relationship i have to have a die that matches one of those first yeah you have to do the broad uh broad category first all right is there anything that's missing or i can pick anything right uh, we now? have a crime and we have a soul relationship all right crime and soul um oh, didn't mean to flip that what am i doing here okay let's go with uh Search and rescue volunteers for no particular or community first. So community is five. Can we do that? Yeah. There's wait. Yeah, there's a five over here. Okay. Oop. And okay. then just because I have no idea how this will fit in, uh, search and rescue volunteers. All right. 
So, so it's a two. Uh, we'll get to that uh, around. Uh, we don't pick both yet. Oh, so I don't pick that yet. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, I'm taking this three. Me and Jordan are in a romance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Also, this it doesn't one. have to be search and rescue, by the way, if someone wants to do something. <laughs> search and rescue for this romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. a good start. Things are already juicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do we have a four? Yeah, we still have a four. Uh, I'm, I'm going to solidify the, the relationship between Brahm and Gore over here. The old, the Nubian old timer. Gotcha. So once the category is unlocked, then we can select. Yes. More. Okay. So, um, yeah, so since uh, ice is basically set up in a, we're in an Antarctic uh, facility, so. Oh, search and rescue would be perfect then. I didn't even put that together. Ooh. So I kind of figured Brahms more, the more experienced person, uh, you know, member of the facility and Gore is just someone that just showed up and has no idea what they're doing. All right, next. Gore, your turn. Well, in that case, you I'm going to... Uh, you can pick the search and roulette rescue for Brom and Jacob if you want, since they've already decided, or you can nail in the romance between me and Jacob, the saucy romance, or uh, <laughs> nail in what you want for, for crime. I was focused. <laughs> I was so focused on crime, I didn't even consider the whole romance thing. I was just thinking about <laughs> what sort of like mayhem. Like, <laughs> yeah. What do you what um, What do you want? What do you I mean, ship? I mean, we we could we, <laughs> I mean, me and you we could have been former spouses. <laughs> I I want to do hood rat shit with Jordan. <laughs> all right what specific hood rat shit though we got smugglers we're we being, got... we're smugglers <laughs> all right that's, that's what we're doing <laughs> all right Brom, your turn okay um all right i guess just to move it along i will go with the search and rescue volunteers too so does it matter what i pick Your turn. All right. What's left? Me and you, and just, just me and you, basically. Oh, okay. Well, what are we gonna be? <laughs> it's so tough. I don't know what kind of story I want to lay out. I'm gonna go with the the real saucy one. Was the real saucy one. Former lovers. All right. I can't wait to hear your guys' little spots. <laughs> I mean, I think that's just oh, pretty much, that's just pretty much every, everyday conversation between each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bromance is about to get very real. Uh, what was it? Ah, oh, you asshole! You took the six. I needed the six. Fine. Mm -hmm. I shall resign. I shall resolve. I shall uh, hold on to the kindness of strangers. Uh, All right, it's my turn. Uh, so, oh, so now we can. I mean, we could have done other stuff, but yeah. Now we do other stuff. So, um, I'm trying to figure out specifically because I know the relationships are between each other but the, how the needs and the objects work out uh, bring up the book so one of these says I need to get off <laughs> is, is that actually should I read that as what I believe I'm reading that as uh, specific, uh, you need to get off and then you determine what you need to get off on okay I'm making sure so yes in some cases yes exactly what you're thinking Okay. I think I know where I'm going. 
Wow. You're just like one of my animes. <laughs> I'm really determining on where a need goes, so currently I'll just place it here. And I will pick the uh, needs to get out category. So is, is um, the need like for everyone? It is for the character specifically. So basically what drives me. So like what would be good for uh, okay. Gore would be an object. That's just weird because I only see like one of those. And I was like, weird. Um, to get laid. Even better. Uh, we have some stuff missing. All right, cool. Yeah, here are the objects. Boom, I'll put them here. And then with each other. Ooh. All right, so there's objects. So <laughs> you uh, you could either pick what an object is. So uh, since you're uh, since you're doing um, a recrime relationship, maybe you have uh, an object between you and Brom. Like since he's a rescue uh, person could be good uh like a transportation vehicle he has access that helps you use for smuggling operations or you just you know have a 55 gallon urine uh barrel 55 gallons of piss i was gonna do like information okay. so between then. us okay you don't have a five though so you cannot do that fuck okay <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. We have a lot of fours. <laughs> yeah, that was very dubious. <laughs> 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 it's already setting in. <laughs> <laughs> the need to screw someone over. That and also apparently the need to screw someone over. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, the barrel of piss really is still there. Definitely still up for grabs. As long, uh, as, no, as, long as you can roll. Play. was very as long was as you smart. Can play. Yeah. Okay. We All right, have, so I'll grab a three. All right, cool. So you'll take an object. Category. Transportation. Rom, your turn. Uh, let's see. So now I'm to... What am I to picking now? Just the subset of that? or uh, You can pick the subset of the object if you want. Uh, you can pick a location where we're at. Uh, let's see. Where's locations? That's relationships. Uh, these yeah. two. Yeah, these oh, two. there's location. Okay. I assume that's like uh, so. Balloon tired would be a very big tire. Um, ah, oh, that you drive people around it. Okay. Uh, well, I like the helicopter. Is a Bell two twelve? Is that something special? We don't oh, have any five. Don't have any five. Damn it! Just <laughs> crying about that earlier. Uh, all right. An ancient uh, pair of cross up. county uh, cross country skis. Uh, let's go with the balloon tire delta vehicle rigged for passengers. Okay, cool. Jacob, your turn. So... Oh wait, I'd have to pick the category anyway first. So, for the fun of it, I'm going to... This is, like, objects are like things I have, right? Yes. Okay, can I have an object card, please? Uh, there's the need lo object location, so there's the last minute card. Uh, so that's how it works. Okay, this is what I was wondering about. Like, So once you've someone's used one, the other person doesn't get it? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to do it, even if it's weird or like screw someone over, whatever. Oh, it's just a giant snow truck, I guess. And I'm going to... um. Inconspicuously pick weapon. 
Okay, this is already getting an interesting situation going wow. on. So what did so, you pick from? I, I picked the weapon category. I have a weapon. I haven't decided yet. Like, we haven't decided what weapon this I have yet. Under objects? Yeah. yeah. And I took the last object, basically. There's only two objects, a truck and a weapon. Oh my god. Alright, it's my turn. I'm gonna solidify the weapon. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we got we have legit one, two, three, four. Alright, so I have the option between a butcher knife, an ice axe, a signal flare, or a fire axe. <laughs> oh, I was imagining an axe on fire. fire. What? I didn't realize that was Jake. like firefighter's axe. I was like, pick the fire axe. I want an axe wow. like bursting into flames. <laughs> Wrong game. Oh my god. <laughs> You're an Arctic wizard. <laughs> yes. Uh, so what what are you giving me? Um I will pick. Uh, I wasn't looking at the right cards. Fire axe. <laughs> Can it be a fire axe? No. Okay. Oh no! Wait. It's actually, a, no. I, I take that back. Johnny. I like the okay. idea of the butcher knife. The classic. Classic. Uh... Butcher. All right, Gore, your turn. Still need to pick a location. So we have one, two, three, and four, or just two, three, four left. I guess uh, four Mac Town outdoors. Okay. So. Rom, your turn. All right. So what I need to be there. Pick a subset of the of location. A subset of of his need. That's Scott's Hut, the Terra Nova Expeditions, nineteen thirteen base sounds pretty fitting. <laughs> Do we have the dice for that? I wasn't even looking. Uh, it's two. Huh? And we have a two. Oh, we have a two and a three, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll go with that since we only have a two and a three. Two. Uh, What's the last number? Uh, last number is whatever you wanted to. So, oh, Jacob, right. you, you can to help get me out. get out of the ice because it's driving me insane. Or something of that category if you just want to be a dick. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> A smuggler, right? Technically, yes. But and I kind of want to play, to play a person who's just been stuck here for way too damn long. Just wants to get out. Oh, trust me, you can. Um, but we're in MacTown, right? We're in MacTown. We're in the expedition base. Okay. Uh, if someone well, wants maybe... to Google the Terra Nova's expedition 1913 base, that's the real thing. I might be semi-close to what you pick but not picking you because I'm like that uh, and do number five where you want to get out of Mac Town where too many people know your game <laughs> alright <laughs> I'm on to you <laughs> alright so does that mean all these can go away I can clean up a little yep
All right. Okay. Character name. Everyone should make their character's name. So at the top, just right click your card. And where it says character name, just change it to whatever. I shall be. Don't know. <laughs> this is like the worst part. She'll be Skyrim. Great. Skyrim may take hundreds of hours, but it takes double that for me to decide a name on my character. I named myself Greg. So, Jacob, are, are, what, what, are you a male or a female? What kind of lover do that's, I have? That's the other big one. Because <laughs> I somehow feel like if I pick female, I have to put on a voice, and that is going to last about two seconds. I mean, you don't have to. You can just kill everyone. Everyone's eardrums. That's fine. <laughs> I, can, I can be female and just talk in the deepest, in the deepest voice possible. I want to rekindle my love for you, Greg. <laughs> uh, Brahmin, um, don't forget your names as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a name. Cool. How about you, Gore? Are you thinking I'll go name too? Yeah, I am, and it's taking me forever. <laughs> I don't you... know what I want to be called. Ah! What what, what do you want to be? What a do space you want to be? Yeah, I'm a spaceman. <laughs> really up shonies. Thought I had to like fall into a little role. Oh, name generator. I guess would it work. Oh, in that case, I'll just like pick like a basic white girl name. Hold on, I'll be like Bridget or something. Tiffany. Jessica. <laughs> so mean to basic white girls. I don't think Jessica's a basic yeah. white girl. I'm name. Jenna now. All right, there Ooh. we go. That is a basic name. Oh, Jenna, we can be gal pals. Gal pals, did, help did... you murder your ex lover. Heck yeah! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's okay. Because I need him, I need him dead. Because too many people know his game. <laughs> I, I like the idea that he's buddy. been too sloppy for too long. No, I just like the idea that my character, like everyone knows, my character is a smuggler, but he's not the. It's Jenna that's been leaking the information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like who the like, hell keeps him. leaking this damn information? Why does everyone know? <laughs> hey, did you know Greg was a smuggler? <laughs> <laughs> he also has like a 55 gallon piss barrel nobody knows why we have such nice restaurants all the time it's like, he said he knew a guy we have bathrooms but he says he's collecting it just in case <laughs> in case of what <laughs> alright <laughs> okie dokie so um Alrighty, uh, we shall, it's, I guess I go with my turn first. So I get to either establish or resolve a scene. So I guess I shall resolve a scene. I shall be the first one playing. Who wants to set up my scene? Oh, oh pick me. I, I mean, you you are. It's it's up to the three of you to, to come up with a scene. If if you want to do a scene between you know me and you. Oh, there's no okay. So there's no like prompts or anything. It's just literally just like come up with something. Yeah. Oh lord. Let the drama commence. Oh yes. So is everyone cool with that idea? Just a uh, a uh, role play between Greg and Charlotte, I guess. Sure. All right. Oh boy. All right. So, <laughs> so all right. So it's a scene between Greg and Charlotte. What, what shall be be the scene? So what's what's going on? What what are the two doing? Well, they're, they're oh, you know what? No, forget this. Forget you. I'm just gonna. We're jumping right into it. I uh, Charlotte walks up and smacks Greg right in the face. What's Brock gonna say? Uh, I was just a, so it, you guys are ex lovers, right? Yes. Oh, okay, so I was thinking maybe um, I'm 
just throwing it out there. The, one of the reasons you guys fell apart was because uh, you kept doing this this crime, smuggling crime. And no, so it was now, definitely the Charlotte's press slapping you across the face because she thinks you're back at it again. You kept promising you'd get out of it. <laughs> or she can slap you for a random reason. I just throw it out there. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Um, your piss barrel. <laughs> it's definitely the best barrel. <laughs> it's not even an object, and we're still like, we're just, uh, yeah, screw, screw the, screw the transportation vehicle or this weapon. Just no, that piss barrel that doesn't exist. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it did. We're so focused on it. All right, so uh, I guess we're um, it's just a day coffee break or whatever. Something's going on. Um, just sitting here minding my own business and then charlotte all right you you come walking in come walk you're, you're on a coffee break yeah I, I guess that's that's what i'm going to establish this as okay real quick because i kind of forget where like where are we <laughs> uh location is mac town outdoors scott's hut so basically we're just we're in mac town but we're in the outskirts of it i assume we're in a hut yeah is there that is a hut? a hut is that a tourist location or that's a research base or, or what is that um or is it well, literally as I some said, someone hot? someone while i was setting up things should do research but i'll bring up my phone i tried googling it and i wasn't i've seen a lot of pictures of ships <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that helps us <laughs> um the internet's just boat and you're like thanks internet <laughs> you gotta love the internet sometimes especially it's like when you're having issues and then everyone's just like yeah I too have that issue and then no one's providing a, a help right yes. and it's like thanks guys you're helpful where did the book go I ate it this thing? oh there it is okay Curdo Station, Antarctica. So, yeah, we're in Antarctica, by the way. We're in Antarctica. Okay, so it's basically... Um, it's kind of, it looks kind of like a science facility. It's like a small town with a bunch of sh uh, sheds and whatnot. I will save it in... Or I will send it in the Discord. Copy image. I was just kind of like... I had, like, the setting of the original, like, The Thing stuck in that, my head okay so that's reason. what i was thinking honestly too. that's kind of what i why i picked the the um the ice simply because of that mainly because yeah. i was playing uh, distrust true. a lot at the time okay so it's hilarious <laughs> got it so i'm glad that we all had like the same mental image but none of us decided to share that with each we were, other we were just like nah it's too stupid right <laughs> Okay, oh, Scott's God. hut is a legit thing. Uh, there's a Wikipedia page for it. It looks like a hut. Oh, it's nothing thrilling here. I shall also share it in the in the Discord. So instead, we're gonna go with the setting from the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like it's like the Forgotten Realms. It's like yeah, it's established and we ha and they have maps and everything, but that's not how it works in my world. This is by Forgotten Realms. This is how Sword Coast looks. Right. You just put some white out on the map and then like redraw. All right, so yeah, you got you got the idea. Come up, come on, get. Let's so get we in this like bigger town. We're we're, on, we we're out hut? we're outdoors of the bigger town. So we're in that tiny little hut that yes, you shared an image of. Yes, we're out out in the hut area. See, this is why I wanted to know because my first idea of a line definitely wouldn't work. <laughs> It was gonna be something like, it was gonna be like, you got a lot of nerf coming around here. <laughs> you mean this place that we work at? <laughs> well, it doesn't mean yeah. necessarily work. That's it's where so I we all work at, but you know, a frequent That's area. That's what I mean. Oh lordy. Especially being a smuggler, I kind of imagine you know my character is all over the place. Mm -hmm. and not just that but like it's secluded so it's a good place for a meetup that's being interrupted by you and your drama mm. <laughs> yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll say i'm just i'm just waiting on a meetup so i'm just sitting here on coffee drinking at the hut beautiful are we at, you said we're outside uh we could be outside or inside okay uh we're outside and i walk up okay. and I, I instead of smacking you i slap the coffee out of your hands and into the snow. All right. 
perspective. Okay, so yeah, you walk up and just laugh it out. What the hell? God damn it, that was my only cup of coffee. Oh, oh, no, it's you. What, what do you want? I've seen it. I've seen what's in those barrels on the east side. I know what you're up to. You never change, do you, Johnny? What Wait, you're Greg. You never do change, do you, Greg? <laughs> okay, first off, who's Johnny? And also, what, what are these <laughs> barrels you're talking about? I, what are you... Oh, you think I don't know? You don't think I don't know? Yeah, sure, that's snow in those barrels. Yeah, it's just snow piled up. Why Why would we be shipping snow barrels? Like, everywhere that everywhere gets snow, except for the hot areas, of course. But you, we don't ship snow from Antarctica. That's not what, that's not what we're here for. What are it's, you on about? It's not snow, Greg. Although I'm sure that's what you'd try to say it is. You, you tell me I'm making cocaine? Is that, is that what you're trying to say here? See, he admits it. No. He's smuggling cocaine. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not going to stand here and wait for you to sit here and slander me in front of, well, nobody, but that's not important. <laughs> uh, I, I don't need this kind of shit. Uh, that's not what I'm here for. I was sitting here just enjoying my own coffee until you smacked it out of my hand so rudely and then declaring myself to dealing with, with drugs or something. I, like, I, I, what is wrong with you? What, why are you here? Okay, we, we're we done, all right? I'm sorry that things didn't work out, but I, I I don't know what to tell you. You just keep bothering me, and I'm tired of it. I wish things could have been better, but they aren't. So, what do you want? What do I want? What do I want? I want you to get your act cleaned up. My I don't want is... you to turn your life around. But I, I, told, I told you, I have. And it's just still, you just don't believe me. You wouldn't accept it, and... And then now we're here. We're here bitching about snow and you, Mac, and you destroying my coffee. It's just, I'm really upset about my damn coffee now. <laughs> Sorry, but you going back to the coffee was. Anyway. I really like that damn coffee. It was good. <laughs> Usually it's just it's just sucks, but this one was actually good. They actually put flavor into it. So you're telling me that if I don't take those, if I don't go over to the east side. And maybe possibly find some authorities to check out this barrel. Everything's gonna be hunky dory. Well, I mean, what? They're, you've, they're you've probably gonna, up your act. They're probably gonna say it anyways. I don't know. Like people keep talking about, you know, I, I, either you or someone else fucking talking about me selling fake snow bullshit, trying to smuggle it out. I don't know. Everyone thinks I'm a smuggler. That's not what I am. It's not what I said I do. It's like I, I don't even know why people are talking about it. It's bullshit. It's what it is. He leans in uncomfortably close. <laughs> you can't fool me, Greg. I know who you are, really. I know you'll never change. And I'll make sure to put a stop to you. If it's the last thing I do. And then you feel this, like, sharp, slight poke on your abdomen region. From inside my coat. Like, my hand's inside my coat. Mm. And then I just walk away. <laughs> Alright, cool. Ominous. That was the uh, <laughs> the situation resolved. So, um, do I get a red die or a black die? Red is for good, uh, a good outcome, or in black is for you felt that went bad, and or will go bad for me in the future. Ominous girlfriend. <laughs> Ominous girlfriend. It's the best kind. Surprise murder. Isn't that everybody's favorite? <laughs> Or do you guys like knowing it's coming? Because <laughs> if you guys like knowing it's coming, then I All should right, give, grab give a it, black give it, dye. Give it. Give it. Give it. <laughs> All right. Are we doing as, this? We give yeah. him a black dye? Yeah. And then as act one, I you have to hand it away. You, so you give it to the player, and then the player has to pick someone and give it to. And then uh, where act two, that's when we keep the die. So Jenna, I, I'm going to... I'm... I'm, I'm gonna give this to you because i feel like you're the one ratting me out <laughs> <laughs> all right so jenna it's your turn either uh establish a scene or resolve a scene oh Jim, i'm trying to think I'm trying to think about this this hut and me smuggling and well, as you said, it's your great. need it's to great. get out. I, I think, um, I think I would end up like, um, I don't know, 
should we establish the relationship between me and Bob? Or well, it's already Bob it's already come? established. You're you're the new person, and he's the old timer. So he's the experienced person that's kind of guiding you along. Okay, so what we were establishing a like a scene, though, right? Yeah. So you can uh, either resolve the scene between you and Bob, or establish the scene between other players. Oh, okay. So if you want, uh, and, and uh, Gavin Freezer Abernathy over here, you can uh, you can resolve a scene between you two. <laughs> Excuse me. That's we all picked really lame names. <laughs> we picked like really, really short, simple names. And <laughs> He's flexing. He is flexing. But yeah. So being all creative and cool. All right. Um, That's why he's so experienced. So what sort of uh, uh, resolving resolving a scene? So we can. See. So you you still have you have, remember you have your object to uh, go on about. So you know he could be teaching you how to drive it or something like that. You know. But you can. It would, the, her choice though is to resolve or establish a scene, right? Yeah. So she can resolve a scene. So resolving means she's acting in it, or establishing means she's setting up for other players. Right, and the the scenes that she can resolve is only the w one between she and I, or she can resolve any scene. She can resolve any scene, so her okay, and, and Jacob and over also, there can right. interact with each other, and can also establish any scene as yeah. well. Yes. Okay. So she can establish another scene between Greg and Charlotte. Which, please, for the love of God, don't! I don't want to keep on replay or it will play that <laughs> the entire night. Oh, trust me, it'll escalate. It'll. <laughs> no, that's it'll fine if it, that's fine murdered, if it escalates, all but my there's problems will be solved. There's other I get characters the snow here. And the loose end is tied. <laughs> <laughs> and and sorry, what's the? So in the scene we just did, so I get this right. I know how we established it. Who? What was the resolution then? How did you decide? So, um, you, the other players decide, you know, decide either to give a white die okay. or okay, a black Okay, that die. was just, okay, that was the resolution, just deciding. Yeah, so and it's like, was... all right, that went good for you, Jordan, though they decide, decided this went bad for you, Jordan, because we all know that where this is probably going to go. Um, oh, so you're, you're judging the resolution as opposed to dictating it then? Correct. Ah, because we'll okay. figure out the aftermath with the dice that we we're given. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So yeah, uh, Jenna, pull the trigger. What do you want? Kablow. Um. Kablow. Let me see. Um, I can I establish or not establish, but like resolve a situation. I want to slip to Greg's character casually that I like know where there's a like all right a cool so we'll, like we'll just continue vehicle. like a couple minutes after charlotte leaves uh jenna shows up to greg who is still mm -hmm. crying over his coffee <laughs> yeah and i've 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 just i've just gotten my own like hot cup of coffee so i'm just like casually like sipping it in front of him like just don't even care that his is in the snow um so what was that all about just, Who's that girl? She's loud as hell. <laughs> it's just giving you like just the biggest death glare ever. That, uh, that 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 was a woman in my life at some point in time. Yeah, sure, certainly. Uh, she's that's just, uh, per personal things, you know, intimate, whatever that that kind of thing didn't work out. Uh, well, from from. Uh... From the line, from the line, I was standing in to get my coffee. I looked a lot like uh, she was she was stalking you, and things were about to pop off. Hell, hell, if I know. I mean, she could. <laughs> she's just kind of looking around. I mean, I guess she could be doing that. I, though, I, in hindsight, that's kind of hard to do when everything's white. Kind of hard to blend in unless she is also using camouflage. Great. Now you have. Oh. Now, damn it. Now I'm paranoid. Thanks. Yeah. I don't. I, I lost everywhere. my coffee, and now I'm fucking paranoid. Thank you. <laughs> She's everywhere and nowhere all at once. Anyway, I was just swinging through uh, this hut on the way here with a coworker. Um, he is going to teach me, I guess, eventually how to use this huge uh, blue tired vehicle. Um, 
and I was I was thinking we can move the next shipment through the vehicle if that works for you. By the way, is this really your last job, or are you just saying that like you did the last seven times? I mean, I, I plan, I, I actually plan on getting out of here because for whatever reason, everyone fucking knows what I'm up to. I don't know why, and I don't know how, and it's really bothering me. Again, I, my paranoia is really sinking in now. I really need to get out of here before something happens. Just need to get out, start a new life somewhere that isn't so damn cold. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like the same old song and dance to me. Shut up. Anyway. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Back to my day job. So uh, I'll see you around. Yeah, sure, whatever. You go go learn the Delta or whatever. I, I don't know. You you see if, if, if it can fit in, you know, sufficiently smuggle what we're trying to do. Keep it on the dan keep it on the download. Don't make it look obvious. Just so we could probably oh, yeah. super use... inconspicuous showing up to the docks with a Delta vehicle. You got you gotta plan it a little bit further than that. It's gonna probably take some different transportation more than just driving up with it. Yeah. Uh, you can't drive it in spots that are way too suspicious. So oh my gosh. You're not my real dad. I, anyway, I, I'm leaving. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so because she just walks away and he's just befuddled all right so uh resolution how did you think uh what do, what do you guys think for who is the, the dice for or like who are you uh, saying for, is good for or bad? jenna you give it to jenna good or bad <laughs> you're not my real dad <laughs> what do you what do you think bob or, or gavin yeah, I think uh, decide whether it's going to go bad for her. Yeah, wh whether this whole truck in the middle of a cargo bay, super obvious, I, is going to go well for her. I think it might be bad. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go bad for someone. So For someone, I don't know who. I'll make it for, for, go up, up for Jenna for now. All right, so black for Jenna, and Jenna, you hand it to someone. Thank you. I saw that. <laughs> there we go. Turn about to bear. All right. It's Gavin's turn. All right, Mr. Freezer. Do you want to establish the uh, scene between someone or resolve a sure. scene? Sure. Uh, I'll establish the scene uh, where uh, I'm going to teach Jenna how to drive the Delta vehicle. All right, cool. And as I understand it, this is this giant snow vehicle. It's like huge. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, and we are. I guess outside, it, what's this vehicle? I guess we'll have the vehicle stored outside. Yeah, you're uh, probably out in a snowfield somewhere. Just... On a snowfield. And um, at some point, uh, Gavin's around there. Is, I'm not Gavin, I'm Gavin. Um, Charlotte's there too, because Charlotte helps uh, work on this thing. I've got to introduce Charlotte to her. Oh, but you, well, yeah, I don't know that you have, you've seen her already. So we'll see how that works. But yeah, no, like anyone can kind of jump in. Like I can even jump in as another character if you want. Okay. So like, right. yeah, you can, it, the scene is definitely between Jenna and Gavin, but Charlotte's also there for. Okay. I'll try to remember to pull Charlotte and introduce her then. All oh right. boy. Um, so you're the new recruit here out here. Jenna is. Oh, it? oh bit, yeah. Uh, you're a bit of a wee one, aren't you? Yeah. Um, They don't really have me a doing for uh, much manual labor i'm more of a more of a pencil pusher well we haven't got much need for a pencil pusher what we need here is a new driver i think that's what it said in the description so what you're going to drive is that big rig over there so um, why don't you come along and i hope what you lack in size you you have in tenacity and a little bit of strength in your arm because uh, the machine's a bit tricky so here hop up in the driver's seat and i'll show you how this works Oh, okay. Tricky as in how? This thing has, like, power steering, right? Uh, well, you got so... the power steering, but it's a manual transmission, and it's a bit of a bitch on something this big. Oh. All right. Yeah, and so, here, just start it up right there. Okay. All right, and you push the gas down, and just do it a little bit at a time. I... Okay, just gonna... Just gonna tow it. I'm not... 
<laughs> well, we're not going anywhere because you haven't put in gear, so you got to also do the clutch and put it. Oh in yeah, I don't. <laughs> I should. I should explain that I've. Uh, I've never driven a. Never driven a manual before. Uh, well, that's not going to be good for someone. Um, well, it's not good for me for long, but you're going to be here on this on your own. So let's get this right. So I'm going to walk you through it. So we'll just step out from it. We'll, we'll have them. They talk for back and forth for a few minutes to finally get her on the basics of a manual transmission. <laughs> she finally gets in the first gear. All right. Now, last, I want you to move it into, into second gear now. So go ahead and do it just like you did first. But now we've picked up some speed. Uh, All right. Yeah, that's see, that's the problem with this thing. You got to have some strength because it gets stuck. And if it gets stuck in neutral, it's not much of a problem if you're flat. All right. But you've got to get in that second or third or some gear quickly, because if it gets stuck, you don't have strength on it and you're neutral. And if you're on a slap, an icy slap, well, you got yourself a problem. Uh, is there a lot of those around here? Well, like, yeah, uh, the whole bloody places have got these <laughs> plants everywhere. Well, so. I would I was gonna assume that like there was at least like some sort of like I'm just passing through this town. This is just like a short gig for me, but I wasn't expecting to get stuck in the middle of nowhere on my way from here to the dock. Well, I haven't gotten anyone else to drive, and you're the driver. This, so here's the trick. You, you got to get it in the gear, because if you don't get it in that gear and you're in neutral, you're screwed going down the hill. So, but so just get it in gear before you, you get uh, into a slot, and you'll have no problem at all. I'm sure you pick it up. Oh, oh. there's Charlotte out there. Hey, put on the brakes there before you hit it. Stop. Stop. Okay. The okay. okay. <laughs> Jesus. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. Hey, Charlotte. Snow how you been doing? <laughs> this is our new, uh, our new driver. Uh, we're almost going to need a new Charlotte there, too. <laughs> Emerges from the snowbank I dove into. Oh, yeah, she's a real natural. Uh, yeah, let's hope she is. I'll just show her the thing with the uh, with uh, the neutral slipping into that. I think she'll get it, though. She's got a pretty strong arm there. Well, she'll have to have one. Well, if so, anyone right. can teach her, you can. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, so, uh, Jenna, I don't know if there's anything. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm, I'm Gavin uh, Abernathy. They call me Freezer, though, mostly because of my size. But, uh, but yeah, and his washboard apps. Uh, that's right. If only, if only they used to call me Blubber the Whale, but I prefer a Freezer. It's much, much nicer name for me. So, all right, uh, Jenna, is there anything else I can help you with? Otherwise, maybe you should do some laps with the with the truck until you get it worked out. Oh uh, yeah, I had a few questions. So you said that this thing was like refitted for passengers. Is that implying that it used to carry uh, freight? Uh, well, yeah, of course. It's one of these uh, uh, large industrial vehicles, and they use it to carry a uh, lot of equipment and stuff, mostly for the army and whatnot. But we have it now for search and rescue because, well, if, again, if you get it in the right gear, uh, you can get all over the place in the tricky areas. And when Charlotte and I go out looking for people after storms or if they get stuck, uh, people that are exploring out here, well, they could be experts or they might be newbies or whatnot. But uh, yeah, and we give them rides back. Once in a while, they're coming back in a body bag. But most of the time, it's uh, the people coming back and their equipment and whatnot. But we don't use it so much for uh, the heavy duty purposes that we used to do in the past. It's mostly for light stuff like that. <laughs> she, she just looks a little bewildered at the mention of just <laughs> moving frozen corpses. Her eyebrows are raised and she just like nods and, and listens. Well, it's cold um, out here. The cold kills, you know that, right? I mean, you're new, but you're in the Antarctic. You So you get it, it's cold, right? Yeah. All right, make sure you got a jacket on. And you got a full tank of gas when you go out as well. Um. Okay, so I was just asking in case I had to move any sort of heavy objects with the vehicle that it wouldn't... Uh, Why would you have to be moving exactly heavy fall? objects? Well, I don't... You know, um... Sometimes people rescuing people comes with the uh, rescuing things. So, <laughs> uh, I, I, I suppose. Well, uh, perhaps, maybe. You know, we're really not worried about rescuing their snowmobiles and whatnot. So, uh, it's just the people that we bring back most of the time. So let's ah. keep it at that for now. Okay. All right, cool. Hey, also Charlotte, you got any other tips for uh, for Jenna here, other than uh, not driving over her coworkers? 
Yeah, that was really my only one. Um, learn that one fast, please. Oh, oh! <laughs> my eyes widen as I see her. <laughs> you, you're the one who was yelling at that dude at the shack, Greg. <laughs> Oh, you saw that? <laughs> yeah, I was in line for my coffee. Yeah, it's just just a little little old lovers quarrel. It's nothing to really worry about. I uh, <laughs> I had a, I was standing there and I was like, wow, that's getting really intense. And then I was like, wait, Greg knows women. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. He may be a little too well sometimes, you know? Uh, yeah, he's a you bit better, of a scoundrel. <laughs> if, I, if I were you, I would definitely stay away from that one little lady. Oh, yeah, for certain. Oh, we're we're going to part you, ways real soon. What are you floating around, Greg, for? You know, stay away from it. You told me all your sob stories over and over. It never went well. I don't know why you're even with him. I just sometimes hope he would change at least one in one way. I like how we're all like having a little powwow about how crappy <laughs> JT's character is. God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mess with that guy. I don't trust him. Well, trust me, anything romantic is definitely out of question. I was just making sure that he had, if he was getting his act together. I don't feel like being the first or the third in a long line of broken hearts. <laughs> I, I, I make a face <laughs> at how low those numbers were. <laughs> <laughs> and I just look down into my thermos. That's just it. <laughs> right, shall I end it with that awkward ending? <laughs> and if anything, they'll probably continue talking shit on Greg. So, all right. Yes. Uh, I think I think uh, I think that resolution was rather decent for uh, Gavin. So did everyone else agree? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gavin get the red die, and then Gavin, you had it handed to someone who you want to give it to. Uh, let's see. I think I wanted to eventually go well for. No. <laughs> oh, thank you. No. You know she's <laughs> plotting a murder, right? You're like. I don't know what you're talking about. You're like I'm a co-conspirator search, now. I'm, I'm innocent search and rescue Charlotte. All right, I don't Jacob. know what you're talking about. It's your turn. Establish your resolve. Oh, geez. Um, let's establish. I forget. Wait, did Jordan and Gore yeah, already I, I've do inter one? I've uh, interacted with Jenna and I've interacted with Charlotte. I have not interacted with uh, Gavin, but also Gavin hasn't really interacted with Charlotte one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And Charlotte hasn't interacted with Jenna one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, jeez. Um, let's Maybe another just... haters powwow. <laughs> and also, you can set it up to where it's between, like, uh, it, they're, they're off doing their own thing. So it's like, yeah. uh, it's like Gavin's off do, giving a tour or whatever. Crap. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I'm going to establish because I like having control over people <laughs> and it's going to be, uh, JT's character. <sighs> Working on something, uh, towards your nefarious plot, you know, your final nefarious plot. And then Gavin almost catches you like, or like not catches you because he's looking at for you, but like he like walks in or whatever. Okay. And it's just like quickly close the book or whatever you're doing. Like, yeah. All right. So yeah, and I guess I'll I'll be in uh, Scott's hut and kind of like a little corner or whatever where um got a little map and some notes and whatnot, just kind of like sketching out the idea of the trying to plan mm -hmm. around the transportation option of the Delta. Yeah. And you guys can talk about whatever after the fact. Like, it doesn't have to focus on, like, oh, I saw you do something weird. I just want that to be, like, the beginning. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, and then Gavin yeah, enters. Uh, I just uh, I quickly uh, close my stuff and brush it oh, to the side. Speak of the devil. Uh, what are you doing in here, Greg? I mean, in fact, what are you doing in general? I'm not clear what your role is here on this site. 
I I actually wonder that many a times. But no, I'm stuck in the damn shipping yards. Just uh, move things around, walk around, and have to run some things to some people and whatnot. Doing deliveries. That's basically my role, and I utterly hate it here. I just want to get out of this damn ice. It's so cold, and just I, I'm not a popular character here. And also, yeah. no good coffee. Do, do you know where you get good coffee? I've lost it. I, I had some, and then it was gone, and then. Uh, yeah, didn't really get to enjoy it. So, I mean. Well, I would have thought a fellow like you who's in the import-export business, at least that seems to be the way you described it, would be able to find yourself some decent coffee. You, you and while you're doing that, why don't you find some for the rest of us instead of just loitering around in this building right and in your little diary there or whatever it is. Hey, hey, let a man bitch to himself, please. <laughs> I'm sad <laughs> and I, I prefer to be sadder, I guess, now that I'm thinking about it in hindsight. But that's not the point. Well, in the meantime, while I'm bitching you out, I want you to stay away from Charlotte, too. She needs to stay focused on her search and rescue work, and I don't need you distracting her. Whatever it is you do, moving stuff around here. B believe, believe you me, I don't want to be around her either, but she just, she approached me today and just started the conversation. So that was on her and not on me. I mean, if, if you can convince her to leave me alone and she actually does that, I'd be I'd be more than willing to not approach her. I mean, I'm hell, sorry. let's get a let's get a restraining order filed on each other. That's fine. I'd love that, please. Yes, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, are you still talking to me? Because yeah. the impression I wanted to give you was our conversation's over. The idea is you're supposed to be leaving the hut here. Fine, whatever. No, I'm done here anyways. I don't need to be here. I'll go do something better with my time and chat with you. And do that better thing with your time far away from here, and away from Charlotte. And you'll just walk out. No issues here. Tell her to stay away from me. Just close the door. <laughs> All right. So, Jacob, you get to. Uh... Dang. He just went. He just. I was hoping that he'd be the one person <laughs> that maybe. <laughs> well, what, what, what was Gavin supposed to do? What was the I don't know. Oh. That's true. Greg has but it's no. Funny. Greg has no friends now. Yeah, uh -huh. I was like, maybe we we haven't tested it. He's the only person who hasn't like come like dunked on Greg in his face. Uh, so I was like, maybe he could uh -huh. be his one solace. Nope. Immediately, what are you doing? Get out of here. Get away from Charlotte. Get out of here. Yes. You're useless. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so who's judging? I've been you. spreading all the rumors. Yeah, Jacob. Since you established it, you pick. Uh, red or black dye to one of us. Okay. I... <laughs> uh, because I just... Oh, man. Um, Jordan is going to get a red dye because maybe, just maybe, that restraining order might work out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I have to hand it to someone, and I'll give it to Gavin because I don't want to give it to any of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's my turn. Uh, we'll establish a scene between Greg and Charlotte. You're uh, out doing some uh, loot rounds to for you know, you're basically transporting some scientists and whatnot. They're doing their research and whatnot. I am. Yes, you're picking them up from their thing. They had a broken, or uh, yeah, well, yeah, one of them broke their leg on a trek, and you have to go out and get them. So you guys are oh, just... lovely. We. <laughs> well, you know what? And so I'm bringing them back, basically. Uh, you guys are together, getting them and bringing them back. That's... Okay. Fun fact: Who's driving? <laughs> That's decided between me and you, I guess. I guess Gavin could be the driver. Since he kind of established he's the only driver. Got it. And I just I just do donuts in the parking lot. I haven't really gotten <laughs> anything, yeah. anything accomplished. So, yeah, no, uh, well, like Charlotte's just kind of getting them loaded up and a stretcher or whatnot. All right, so, yeah, I want to. Oh, th thanks, Freezer, man. Uh, you're, you're, you're a lifesaver, you and Charlotte. Oh, such. <laughs> We're glad we're glad to have you out here in the station. Such could have been so much worse. We don't have uh, top-notch rescuers like you two. Oh, it ain't that much, dear. Now make sure you, is your head supported. Yep. 
Yeah, no, it's 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 fine, comfortable. Just you know, just broken leg. <laughs> Comfort com- every everywhere comfortable except there. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> and you said how many? Like, there's more people. Uh, it's just like a group of three or whatever. We'll say. Yeah. Okay. All right. Make sure you got anything that you can't live without, because we're heading out in about ten seconds. <laughs> Hurry up, <laughs> all who have legs. So and we pile them on. <laughs> Gavin's still with us. Oh, sorry. I I was still texting, trying to get the thing straightened out. Uh, um, apologize. All right. Uh, tell me where Gavin is. You're driving the vehicle. Oh, I'm driving the car. All right, we're, Charlotte. We're are we all here. set? Is everyone loaded up in this thing? Ah, uh, yeah. That's the last of them. <laughs> Boom! Claps the back of the truck shut. And uh, and as he's uh, shifting, you see clearly that neutral problem that it's taken a fair amount of strength to get through that. Um, <laughs> but then he gets it into the into the first gear and they get going. Ray, how many of them are there with us this time? Uh, three of them. Three of Too them. Healthy. All right, that's good. We'll get them back to where they need to be getting back to. Mm-hmm. We have any more runs today? Ah, oh, well, I would hope not. <laughs> All right. Hey, that clown Greg, uh, he was hanging out at the, at the hut again. I don't understand what he's doing floating around at our facility. I don't know if I'm still talking to him either. I haven't talked with him since the last time you told me. All right, fair enough. But he's still sniffing around the facility. I don't understand it. And he gives me this vague description of moving stuff from here to there to whatever. It, it sounds well, like he doesn't have a job, but I don't understand what he's doing here in Antarctica. To be completely honest, I didn't think he did much work even when he wasn't doing terrible things. Oh, that's fair enough. <sighs> but yeah, sometimes I wonder what goes on through that head of his. Hey, so what do you think of this new recruit, this, uh, Jenna? Oh, she seems lovely. A bit dense, you know, with the, 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 the shift work, but I mean... I don't really know much about her, but it seems like she's not used to this kind of life, so it's probably hard on her. Well, I don't understand what she's doing here either. She said she's uh, here for a pencil and paper job. We haven't got one of those. But it's just for all driving. She seemed to be shocked about the whole thing. Hmm. Well, this is, uh, as we know from some people, this is the best place to get away from things. Maybe she didn't do a whole lot of reading when she went out here, you know? Just well, fair enough. packed her bags and left. Yeah, maybe she's looking for uh, an adventure. I don't know that I would have come to the Antarctic for an adventure. But, uh, well, I'm looking forward to, uh, I'll be going, taking my vacation for a couple of days. So she'll be able to take my place as the driver. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to run things smoothly without me. Yeah, everything should be fine. We haven't had anything too bad in the past couple of months. If it keeps this up, eh, it'll be like you weren't even gone. Yeah, well, well that'll be good. Uh, oh, don't forget, though, they got a storm coming um, about midweek. So be careful about that. Make sure people aren't going out during the storm. That'd be a terrible time, obviously, unless there's a big an emergency. But if we can avoid making any runs during them, uh, that would be best or someone's going to get lost or worse, mm. especially with this truck. Definitely, definitely. Oh, you know what? I just had a great idea. What's Before that? you leave on vacation, we should totally take Jenna out somewhere. You know, just get to know her a bit more. You know, make her feel comfortable. Maybe that'll help. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, let's see. Uh, we could take her to Jack's. Or we could take her to Jack's. That's about the only bar. So I guess we're going to Jack's. Yep, that's usually the go-to in this place, isn't it? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I guess you'll get word to her then? Yeah. All right. Oh, it looks like we're coming up uh, on our drop-off spot. All right. Uh, You're still alive back there, boy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, busy reading now. <laughs> oh, wow. He has time to read. I mean, Look I got nothing that. better to do. Look at us. Look at us do all the hard work. It's just driving. And, you know, we're just scientists. 
What are you guys saying? Uh, testing. Uh, <laughs> yes, that is the best word. <laughs> <laughs> your your question confuses us, but I mean, uh, I guess you know, watching the weather patterns in Antarctica and well, don't get all hoity toity with me. I'm the driver, so I'm your link to survival right now. I'm just trying to make some conversation. <laughs> so we'll end it there as he's. <laughs> Uh, so again, that. I'll ask you, what are you scientisting? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so um, ooh, I established that one, and I need to give a die away. Um, I vote red. That went well. For who, though? That's the question. Um, for Bob, he's going on vacation. I, I, I he did. He's going on vacation. I guess so. <laughs> Once I realized I was in the scene, and then I was, I'm was i trying to set it up when I have to depart in about three minutes. Yeah. Sick. But, um, yeah, we can uh, wrap up the next round, um, and then uh, we'll save it there, and we can continue later. Oh, yeah. cool. All right. I was afraid I was going to miss the second half, so all right. I figured uh, we can pick up another day um, after this. Yeah. Half. So, yeah. Yeah, right. I'm having no, this is pretty fun, actually. Oh, uh, he has to give away the die, right? Yeah, he has to give away so, the die. Oh, so yeah, I have to give it, give, it uh, give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Let's yeah. see, because I want something to go well for someone, but yeah, then something... they're going to just give it away, right? No, you you give it away, and then that's the die they have. That's the die they have. Okay, but I want it to go well for someone. Huh. So far, it's not going well for Jenna or Greg. Yeah, I I want it to go good and bad for Jenna. Though. <laughs> All right, some of go. it to go good and some of it to go bad. So, All right. she's definitely the wild card in this scenario. Gore, yeah, your to turn. Go. Time to establish, establish or resolve a scene. Um, so <laughs> I got this amazing idea that like every time my character comes onto the scene, like her snow gear and stuff gets like fancier and fancier. <laughs> like money is just like. <laughs> leaking into her pockets and so she, she looks like by the end of it she'll look like a big antarctic pimp like <laughs> so um so she's got like the sparkly sunglasses and the nice coat and stuff um i i have i have no idea i'm still in the middle of plotting right but uh, uh you can you can uh bump into charlotte who is testing her new knife i guess on some fresh whatever oh, that's perfect i'm going to set charlotte off in a rage in your direction oh, oh Lord. Ow. <laughs> remember you can't kill me yet till we have to find out at the end of the game i don't know but i just need to like give that little like nugget of yeah. like resentment <laughs> Just pour the seeds it out. That's that's what my character. Whoa! I just threw your dice. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. All right. Cool. So, uh, Jenna uh, has established a scene between her and Charlotte. All right. So, Charlotte, uh, what are you, what what are you cutting? Are you just like I imagine you're just not even so, like so properly did, butchering so we... anything. You're just like slashing into something just for the <laughs> fact of seeing how much damage it can do. Heck no! I am very very methodical. Um. Oh god, I'm trying to think what what kind of it'd be a penguin. It would oh man, do we eat penguins? Is that <laughs> Do you no, think she cares? No. It's a bird that she found and is able to test it's it. A... Oh. Yeah, like I'm trying to think what kind of meat would I have on me that I could get easy access to. Fish. Yeah, it'd be mm -hmm. fish. Actually, yeah, fish would be very common. Penguin just sounds right. funnier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> penguin. Um so yeah, I'm just not skillfully because I'm not like a professional or anything, but you know, very delicately handling this fish with my butcher knife. Oh, we do have corpses of survivor of people. Yeah, but that would be weird. You don't want to be weird. I'll be weird. <laughs> I, I don't want to be accused of something like some people over here. You know? But anyway, yeah, <laughs> excellent. Practicing to see what it's like to put a knife through a person's body. Just practicing on dead people first. No, I'm just gonna go straight for the finish line. I'm gonna fillet him so much. But anyway, yeah, just slicing up this nice fish here. Yeah, I am making my way to the kitchen of the of the shack. Um, 
passing through again and i see you in the kitchen and i walk in with my really nice sunglasses and coat <laughs> <laughs> oh hey it's you charlotte right oh hey jenna yeah uh, excuse me hold on a second immediately like just like slaps down the knife on the the fish you know how like some people do like to stick it in the wood <laughs> like, yeah hold on a second <laughs> you see her eyebrows pop out from over top her sunglasses <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just like oh my look at those beautiful sunglasses you have there oh uh, yeah i um i uh they they were they were a gift they got them i got them shipped all the way over here really really generous benefactors just it's amazing that I get to come out here and experience the Antarctic peasant life. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I, I was overhearing some, some business of a storm. You guys marked it on the calendar in the office. Oh yeah. Um, basically make sure no one leaves the town, uh, during that time period, it's going to be almost impossible to get anything out there. So if someone gets stuck out there, which they probably will, uh, we won't really be able to rescue them without risking our lives even more so than normal. Out of character side note, I just imagine that comment. Gage was like, we have an office. <laughs> <laughs> Your freezer. Uh, yeah. Continue. <laughs> oh, um, that's that's really bad news. I was uh, hoping to get some more practice driving in around that time, but I guess if that's what's going on, I'm going to have to uh, make new plans. Speaking of new plans, uh, it's, I know it's really awkward, right, to bring them up, but uh, I just wanted you to know that uh, that I'm probably going to stop uh, working with uh, Craig, I'm also going to throw your note card. <laughs> this is just going to be like this. This scenario. This uh, scenario went from the ice to Greg. Fuck him. <laughs> right. <laughs> throw him in a freaking snowstorm. Yeah. Well, that's essentially what I'm doing. Is like, uh, <laughs> just he's going to take the fall for everything. Meanwhile, money just pours into my pockets, and then I get away yeah. in a nice view. But anyway, so you basically said that you weren't working with Greg anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's just uh, he's just so distracted. I can't get any I can't get any anything done with him with the side jobs. He just keeps uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see these women on these runs. You know the the town women, the pretty plain looking. But for some reason, he just has to take it upon himself to just go and stop what we're doing and like chat these ladies up and like i have to pick him up later he's like oh just come back later i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna take these ladies out for a good time <laughs> and i can't get anything done in a timely fashion we're never making any of the side shipments on time so i'm gonna cut them loose uh i thought since uh you didn't approve this would be good news for for you or whatever because I, I know you guys still have like feelings or whatnot anyway uh i'm gonna get out of here ciao <laughs> <laughs> just no one... so, so you just made it clear to her that he is definitely doing or dealing drugs and he's going after all these ladies all over town <laughs> yes <laughs> no and i had oh, no chance to respond you're just like button. here's the dump here's the dump of like yeah. garbage like, <laughs> spy. Yeah, I just it was like winding up one of those like little monkeys with symbols and I just let you go off and then walk the, walk out of the room. Yeah, I guess I'm going since uh she obviously has no like desire it seems to turn around and like talk to me more like a normal freaking human being. I'm going to say <laughs> because you also kind of linked yourself up with potentially it might go bad for you so Oh, of course it's going to go bad for me. That's and then fine. You, you give that away. Uh, any, any dice or just the one that was just given? Just the one that they that you give. Uh, that they get. Uh, okay. uh, there's going to be some sort of drama and suspense in Gavin's dealio. <laughs> Alright, so Gavin, you get to uh, establish a resolve and then I guess uh, you can head out after that and then we'll continue this 
later after that. So I'm establishing a resolve for the same any money, right? Any money. Oh, for any. Oh, I'm sorry. Establish. Or, I thought that was a complete thought. Resolve your own scene or establish a scene for someone else. Okay. So who hasn't had a scene yet? I think pretty much everyone has. Everyone has had a scene. Uh, you can establish I mean, a scene Craig, for Greg, Craig's who's trying late. to figure out where the fuck all, most of his money's going. <laughs> yeah. I want to... Um, so I don't. So Greg doesn't know that uh, Jen is turning on him yet, right? Or so basically, I, I, we have the theory that uh, Greg's good at his job, and his yeah. part and Jenna's his partner who just talks so much about Greg being a smuggler. Yeah, and it's it's all a big ploy to get him like squeezed out of the scene so I can not have to split anything with him. And all plus, right. I'm in charge of all the books, so... so then I, <laughs> I, I, I want to have a scene with Jenna and Greg where they're planning on how they're going to uh, do their next uh, run, which is expected to be pretty big, uh, bigger than most. And so maybe if you guys want to work in how you're going to use that vehicle. Okay. Okay, so I've marked off, here's the map that I have, kind of marked off a little trail of what you can do to be as inconspicuous as possible with the vehicle. Here's where you'll start, of course, with the vehicle, make up whatever excuse you can, or just drive off with it if you can. I don't really know what you do with it. I'm not going to ask. I'm not involved with that. So yeah, you figure out some way to get the Delta. We'll move the Delta here. Here's where we're going to load it up. And then uh, with the storm that's possibly coming, if that does hit, that does provide some cover. We can take it nice and slow, get it to our, get it to the docks. We'll dump off the product there, and then we'll kind of move the vehicle to a, a, a spot where it's not so oddly placed. And then uh, we'll just slowly settle things back down uh, to the where they used to be, so that way no one's uh, any wiser about it. And uh, we get our last shipment out, and I get out of here. Oh, yeah, you sure, you sure do. Anyway, a uh, few holes, a few complaints in that plan. Firstly, a rhinestone just fell off of my new manicure, and I'm a little upsetting. Where the hell did you get uh, that? Sac- <laughs> Who has uh, manicures I just, here? I just, you know, those nail shops are just, they're everywhere. What anyway. nail shops? <laughs> We're in Antarctica. What? A, what? <laughs> where? What? It's everywhere. I can't They're find good everywhere. coffee, and you can find fucking pampering shit here. What? Yeah. Oh man. I. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to tell you about my perm. Anyway. So. Second problem. I was told explicitly that we really shouldn't be out and about during that storm so that cover could turn into like you know the white blanket of death over a stuck vehicle uh, and thirdly i don't even know why the heck i'm driving i was sp- i was specifically flown out here from la to do logistics only logistics and and money stuff do you really think i can handle this entire track this antarctic track with a new vehicle like I mean, I'll be holding your hand during the entire trip, so there, there, there's that. It's not like Don't I'm gonna touch sit- me, peasant. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Moving on. It's not like I'm just gonna sit here and leave you with that giant ass vehicle all by yourself. You know, trusting you to do this all by yourself. No, we're gonna be together. I'm gonna probably not be as obvious in the vehicle because it's gonna it's just gonna be weird why I'm riding in it, anyways. But yeah, we just. I, the complaint is definitely noted. I'm not a dumbass. I actually was thinking it's just a possibility. If you can learn it fast enough, we could do that. Take It's a big risk, but big reward. It'll be easier for us to hide what we're doing. Of course, right. if you're too much of a pussy to do it, I can understand that. Wow. Excuse you. Yeah. I was raised by the streets. All right. You can't disrespect me like that. Secondly... I'm really, really, I'm still super skeeved out because on top of the dumb clutch, is that a clutch problem? What is it? Like, I don't even, I don't even cars anyway. There's, it gets stucky. Talk, talking little. about manual transmission? 
yeah, it gets stucky, and there's a huge, <laughs> there's a huge uh, storm coming. Like, well, I used to, I used to drive a stick shift truck growing up, so I, all right, I can do it if you really don't want to. It okay. would be safer for the both of us, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe you drive, and uh, I, I'll. Uh, have more of a hands off. You, you just you just get it to the location. We'll load it up. I'll drive it from there. Sound okay, good? perfect. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like going halfsies. That's ideal. Anywhere where I do less labor is a great deal. Thank you. It's just driving. It's not that much labor. Uh, it's exhausting, especially for my nails. Why are you here, anyways? <laughs> Who transferred you here? I thought I'm you... just you know. I am from, uh, we'll say, in the offices of your soon-to-be former boss. Whatever. It, just learn the truck. Get ready for the storm. And yeah, if, yeah. And if you're gonna, you know, not do it for the storm, at least tell me beforehand. Like, not last uh, minute. We need to, we need to make sure everything's set. We don't need to get caught. Um, we need to get this out. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about me taking off the shipment without you or anything. I, that's also, not what I was saying. <laughs> now I'm concerned. <laughs> also, try not to get murdered by your ex wife while I'm gone. I I'm starting to get a, the I, vibe. <laughs> I wasn't married. Oh, well, whatever. She seems married to the idea of killing you. Anyway. <laughs> um,. I'm starting to get the vibe around here. I've only been here for like a little while, but I'm getting the vibe around here that uh, nobody likes you. And yeah. then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there. You know, actually no one started talking about me until she started arriving. <laughs> we'll end that scene. Oh, man. All right. Hey, so I gotta, I gotta run. I'm running way late. So. Yeah, just uh, pick which die to give and then uh, you can run. Okay. Um... Good or bad for one of us? Like bad for everybody. That's what I'm <laughs> thinking. I, can I give both of you a black die? Uh, you can <laughs> give it to either her or me. Uh, all right, I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be like a and I'll give it to Romeo her. and Juliet style <laughs> tragic thing. Just everyone's right. going to die. All right. well, yeah. Sorry for taking so long, Brom. Uh, we'll uh, have to continue this. Uh, Maybe tomorrow if everyone's available. So you go chill. Um, I'm. I gotta have a dinner. I gotta go out ah, to right. tomorrow. We'll figure it well, out. I have. But yeah, my we'll people will contact your people. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, I look forward to doing it. this. Is pretty fun. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's pretty fun. All yes. right. Can't wait to die in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> in Antarctica. All right, take care, everybody. All right, see you. Bye. Bye. Okay. So Jake. make sure you're safe. Uh, it, Jake, we are going to resolve this first. So Jacob, your turn. You pick. Obviously, without the uh, Gavin. Without the freezer. Without the freezer. So, I mean, he's honestly had quite a bit of scenes anyways. So have I, man. <laughs> well, you can pick something else. Um... Again, you can either establish or resolve a scene. I have one die. You have one die. Brom has two die. I'm very popular. Jenna's very <laughs> popular. With black die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna um, be all the black dye. I can't wait to like get stuck in the snow and then be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I'm stuck here!" And then leave, and then a bunch of wolves come and rip me in a bunch of pieces. I don't think there are wolves in Antarctica. <laughs> there are polar bears, but well, yeah. Well, then a bear comes and just like body slams the shit out of me, <laughs> <laughs> and like you're stuck in the truck screaming, and now there's like a bear eating me outside of the truck, and like <laughs> you're. <laughs> It's just, it's going to be a nightmare, and I can't wait till after the tilt. Oh, boy. Oh, lordy. And I haven't even played this game before, but I'm just like, I'm going to be an evil mastermind. I'm just going to just set people off in different directions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I have one ish, maybe. It's, it'll be a short one. Remember, it doesn't have to be between the actual players, just a player. Oh, I know. Game. Yeah, and I'm going to do myself. Okay, so you're going to resolve and a scene? I'm going to resolve a scene. 
Does that mean you guys have to choose what happens, or do uh, I also you, get you, to choose? you choose? You're you're resolving the scene, so you explain what the scene is that you're yes. resolving. So basically, just how everyone has some kind of scheme. Obviously, we now know we have confirmed that Charlotte is scheming as well. She has her own notebook in a corner of a room. <laughs> Jacob and his beautiful mind's walls. <laughs> yes. This tiny, anyway. tiny cabin with all these people scheming in different corners. <laughs> I know. It's great. Like, Gavin just wants to go on vacation. That's his scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so is Gavin on going on vacation point. before the storm? Uh, or during the storm? I think it's like a little bit before. Okay. So, like, I'm in charge of driving for a few days before the storm hits. Yeah. I don't want to be, though, frowny face. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Charlotte's, res Charlotte's resolving her own scene. What's, what's Charlotte doing? Oh, jeez. See, I don't know if I can really role play it other than just describe what happens. Well, remember, you you have we'd have some filler characters or whatever. Nah, maybe my idea is a bad idea. I was literally just going to be plotting some way to get you murdered. Or disappear. <laughs> Maybe you uh, go chat with the doc people and, you know, uh, talk about... Uh, it, uh, like, you know, ask very odd questions about the water and <laughs> maybe, what, you know, how things float. They all float down here. You know, they all float down here, yeah. A a asking questions about, you know, how to dump a body into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> You'll float too. <laughs> oh no, I already have a plan. Or you can a ask about, you know, about polar bears and, you know, how long it takes for them to, you know, sniff out fresh meat. And if they like frozen meat. Yeah. The snack. That smiles back, Gregory. Goldfish. Wait, what? Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, bad. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's difficult. Yeah, it's. Uh, you, you're setting up a scenario for yourself, which might be a little hard. And it's like a. <laughs> all I want to do. With yourself, playing with yourself. Yeah, over I there. Because <laughs> all I want to do, all I want to do is I just want to like cut the amount of gas in that thing in that vehicle in half and then he just goes out you know on his second half of the journey and just stalls in the middle of the snowstorm you, she doesn't she doesn't know what's going on yet though so you can't oh i know oh i know not because i think you're doing anything it's just be like oh he's taking the vehicle yeah <laughs> yeah have fun out there <laughs> That's, that, a, like, that's a good plan. Gonna, like, you, it's like, all right, there's the code for when X happens, come do do Y. But yeah. You, you, X needs to happen first. That, that's why I was like, that was my first idea. And I was like, wait, I don't like, it's not you happening. need to rely on yet. Jenna's big mouth. I know. Great. <laughs> my big mouth. You're going to suplex him with the kitchen. <laughs> um, but then, like, it's gonna, like, miss, and then it's gonna ricochet, and then hit Jenna in the neck, and then she's gonna be like, blah, 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 trying to, <laughs> trying not to die. <laughs> and you're like, no, I was supposed to kill you! And then, it's like an epic fight, and you guys, everybody freezes to death out in the cold at the end. <laughs> it might be like that, but not as epic, and more pathetic. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it be pathetic. I'm gonna make sure this explodes. Everybody gets black dye. Black dye for everybody. <laughs> Keep in mind, um, the more you have of a single t dye color, the better the result can be. Nice. So Wait. So does that mean the more black you have, the greater horrible result you'll get, or just <laughs> it? I will. It um, it's an abomination. Uh, it, a lot, like a lot of the black is easier to like have a very negative result, but it, it's kind of like uh, e even the scumbag, you know, walk away with the girl kind of situation. Hmm. 
Oh, I figured it out. I figured out a way to be lazy about this too, and it's great. It's, it's checks all the boxes. Mm. Me not wanting to do anything and figuring out part of his scheme. <laughs> Charlotte obviously ignores Gavin's uh, warnings because yeah. she is obsessed. And remember how you were paranoid? Mm. Oh yeah, I'm following you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing, you know, just full body covered you know snowsuit as you'd normally do Somehow but not the has ones a, has a uh, snow ghillie suit I bought it for her she oh. asked for it and then I had it Amazon Prime so I was like I've got the money don't worry about our girl no I'll probably just be like not wearing my normal jacket just wearing like another you know snowy jacket so you don't know it's me and my face is completely covered because it's really cold out it's not the pink one it's the purple one yeah exactly <laughs> I just look like a normal bystander because I'm clearly. So, I, guess, I guess I'm going to my do- the docks to you know see my uh, one of my sailing buddies who is yeah. <clears throat> in my operation. I guess. And I'm just pretending like I work there. <laughs> so yeah, I'll walk up. I uh, did. Who wants to? Who wants to play as my uh, sailing buddy? Hey, Jenna. You want to play a filler character there? Yar. Yar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Antarctic pirate. Antarctic. Yeah, sure. I gotta like drop the drop the valley girl voice and try to talk to you like a person. Because every yes. time I think of Jenna, I'm like Jenna. Yeah, you, are, you are gore now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gore now. Right. Next day. Um, so I'm a sailor and part of the operation. Yeah, right? like, like a ship captain. Bring it in. Something. Yeah, you're, you're you're the guy who you know we dumped this shipment off of on. Okay. All right. So yeah, uh, a couple, a couple of days, or in a week or so, we'll have the next shipment ready. Um, or at least the the second shipment ready. Uh, the first one's almost done. Uh, you can see. Uh, just need to finish up some packaging, uh, some crates and whatnot, and then we'll be ready to go. Uh, some jackass accidentally s- stabbed one of the barrels and broke him open. With the forklift, so gotta have that, you know, replaced. But yeah, as long as we're still good, you uh we're still making good time, think it think so? Um, I think so. As long as you get everything onto my ship before that storm in the midweek comes, I think we'll be fine because uh the boys are getting restless and they're thinking about staying here in port to ride it out. And half the ship is um, thinking about bailing early. So well, we're going to have to lock down that date. Well, uh, I think the uh, the second one will probably be ready around the storm. So chances are probably going to have to wait it out, sadly enough. But once, right. the, once the storm's settled, you can set sail and ship right out. All right. Well... I'm expecting a generous tip from that w- that rich bitch that's been following you around lately, because uh, they're pretty they're pretty worried about this one. They want to go home, but you know how sailors are superstitious and whatnot. Yeah, so I- I've been noticing. Um, have you been giving? Have you been doing most of the trading with her? Because uh, I know I've been you know giving her some opportunities to you know help finer skills out and whatnot but um are you screwing us with their payment or are we getting uh she am i being held up on first of all how dare you come to me come to my fit my ship to my face to accuse you of mishandling your payments that's between you and your boss i just move the things what boss it's (laughs) Are you, are you referring to? Are you referring to out of shores? You referring to here? Because between because mostly it's just whoever is here. That's what this operation's on. And I feel like there's something fishy going on. And I'm not actually talking about the fishing. Oh yeah, it's just the fish and and the the packets of cocaine underneath the fish. And and the rare yeah. artifacts and, and the then scientific, and then like scientific the, the mysterious person that's working the thing, freaking like 
trips over like or knocks over like a bunch of stuff on a cart <laughs> and then immediately goes to putting it back together like <laughs> not to so she hears the word massive there. cocaine <laughs> hey, don't break any of that you break any uh, of it and that's coming mm-hmm. out of your pay and you're going to be kicked off site for the next couple days but the thing is how many runs have you been sending this girl on because she's been visiting my part of the docks once a week have you been sending her on jobs once a week uh, I was doing. I was doing it because I was a little bit busy trying to do some planning for the next, for the other ones. Trying to do some. Mm. Uh, because I have never once had a client that visited me more than twice a month. Yeah, yeah. So, I think you should have a talk with her. Uh, that's probably best bet. I should focus less on doing the laundering, and do more of actually figuring things out because I feel like someone is throwing a few wrenches in the plan here. Anyways, uh, we're talking yeah. about ancient relics. This is Antarctica. No one lives here. Yeah. Anymore. They're digging Dun-dun-dun. stuff out of the ground all the time. He just kind of nods slowly. Oh, uh, I I see. Yeah, totally, totally ancient civilization. Now I remember some of the scientists are totally talking about ancient whatever civilizations of Antarctica and totally not someone shilling fake crap onto you. <laughs> well, You anyways. know, sailors, superstitious and whatnot. Yeah, well, I should get going. Don't need to be hanging around here too much longer before catching some strange looks, because apparently I'm already the talk of the town. So Yeah. For some reason, nobody likes so. Yeah, I. Someone's talking. Better not be you, or your. Oh, that's not me. It's probably one of your men. Maybe. You 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 give them a talking to too. None of us need to be caught in this operation. Anyways, I'll I'll get going. You do your thing. I'll do my thing. Or else the big ominous boss in the sky is gonna <laughs> get angry. Gavin is secretly the boss. Been running the whole it's, thing. Oh my god, that'd be so funny if we made like Gavin like <laughs> he's been a double agent this whole the time. Drug lord. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Um, wait. So I kind of forgot already, but in the beginning, did you discuss like part of how you were getting the stuff to the ship? Yeah, uh, we're 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 driving it there. Um, like, I did not. I did not explain right the- what was going on. I just explained the win. All right. Um, that's well, just so I know how to react. Yeah, you know. Well, just we'll say something, um, something because, is happening during the snowstorm. This was bad because you didn't get the information you were trying to look. And then, oh, yay! <laughs> yeah, you know. Don't do good. him like that. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> he needs more dice, loving. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's Act Full of Act One. We now have eight die, and this is where we uh, do. Uh, finish it with act one so i uh, will pull up the tilt uh here's the tilt table do some dice math what does that even mean you, you you roll dice and you do math so tilt table huzzah so yeah uh as it says at the end of act one roll the dice blah 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 so uh, we take all the dice and we roll them. Oh, all the dice that we have and roll. <clears throat> so everyone take your dice. Oh. And uh, from for you, you can uh, click and drag to highlight all of your dice. And then you can, or, okay. or you can just pick them up. And... I find it funny that I only got one die. Uh, I think it rolled. Uh, you can roll it again, just get, be safe. It, yeah, hitting R helps too. Oh, hitting R? Yeah, hitting R. Just tap the R key. Without holding them. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, it definitely rolled. Alright. Hopefully. <laughs> so I got a six. In what? I got seven. 
what do we we want a higher number or a lower number uh so if you have a high number of either color you will help add a pair of complications so basically um whoever has the highest number they get to pick out the complications okay so we uh roll this collection of dice So it says of either color. Um, does that mean uh, we have uh, one person for one color, one, or whoever has for one color and who has it for the other color? Yeah, I don't know. For sure, that works. Um, well, uh, so far it looks like Gore just has the most for all of them. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Oh, you don't want me in charge. I, <laughs> I think you're in charge. You get to... <laughs> so, oh, no. with all these dice available, you get to pick uh, what we have for the tilt. So, based off of the information oh, provided, uh, we're, I think I think it's just like... Because we have two options. We have the main category and the subcategory. So it's the same way, so we roll it, or we do it the same way we did uh, the first one? Yeah, except it's just one thing, so. Damn dog. I, of course, like, I can't throw her out because uh, people are outside, so she's going to be barking, and she's just so undisciplined, so well, she's going to be barking. And, uh, and a placeholder at the table. What was that? Get her a mic and a placeholder at the table. <laughs> That's a lot to say. Um, yes, yeah, she does. So, I am looking at failure. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, we have a six, so a failure. And then what else? Mayhem. Wait, we don't have a one. Oh. Paranoia. Okay, paranoia. And then what inside paranoia? So, use a five. We have a four, I four. Paranoia. Was it something I did? <laughs> Three twos, and then a five and a six. So basically, you have every option aside from a one and a three. I'm sorry to keep the suspense going, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to pick six out of paranoia. All right, cool. So yeah, reassemble the dice pile, keep uh, what's already assigned. So we have, uh, after after rolling for the tilt, Gore took the lead with the colors, we rolled the dice, and then she picked Paranoia, and somebody is watching, waiting for their moment, which I think we all know who that is. It's Gavin. It's Gavin. It is Gavin. He's waiting for his moment. So yeah. So um. Uh. So which <laughs> did we agree for the uh the the vacation part? Like he's just gonna stay, or are we just gonna retcon that? Uh, no, we can make it. Uh, the storm started kicking up sooner, and his flight got canceled or something. Okay. Cool. 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 So, so what, with that, what were the choices again? Uh, the choices for the tilt? Yeah. Well, uh, we already got them picked, but the choices right, were right. these two Sorry, pages. What I mean. yeah. yeah, what were what I meant with, yeah, what did we pick again? Just uh, paranoia, and somebody is watching, waiting for their moment in paranoia.
Oh, but we didn't choose a subset yet. No, that was the subset. Was uh, somebody is watching? Oh, that is it. part right. of paranoia. Somebody is. Oh, paranoia. Somebody is watching. And what was the failure one? Uh, she, no, she <laughs> she threw us a red herring. She said failure, like she oh, picked oh. it, and then didn't actually oh, follow through with it, like a it. jerk. Okay. Paranoia, oh, someone sorry. Is watching. Okay. All right, all right, I'm with you. I thought we were picking a couple of them. Okay, yeah, no. I'm on board. I, right. I'm just I'm just playing the role of any idiot can play this game. <laughs> yeah, except you're no, also probably probably the most experienced role player out of all of us, I assume, being in the theater. I don't know about, I, yeah, well, I, I guess a different kind of role playing, sure. <laughs> all right. So, uh, I guess we just uh, start back with the loop. So, um, starting with me, since Charlotte was last, unless that switches, act two. Uh, when it's your turn, you get a scene. Uh, the final die is a wild die. It can be either black or white. Once the final die uh, is Alex. So basically, whatever we have last, you can dictate as either black or white. In this case, black or red. Uh, so yeah, we just continue as normal and um, you keep the die that you're given this time instead of giving it to someone else. So, with all that in mind, uh, we had Greg doing his thing. Uh, let's see. I get to establish or resolve a scene. Um, ooh. It's a good question of where do we start? Where should we start? I guess I'll resolve a scene, so... We'll kind of collaborate together on where to pick up. So the store, uh, the shipment's getting ready to be sent out. The storm is coming. Um, we're probably going to get to the part where we're going to be dealing with the storm issue and how that's playing out with the party. And uh, probably it's going to and dealing with the fact that it's Act Two and shit is about to hit the fan. Uh, the storm is probably already about to hit, and also like you said, it probably came sooner so um either like uh something to do with whatever uh what, whatever you guys think greg would be doing at the time or like we can just start with the storm being hitting hitting right now and dealing with that uh watch if greg rushing to start loading up that truck while the storm's hitting Put so uh, resolve the scene between, I guess, Greg and Jenna, like a rush, uh, like trying to rush getting the package ready because the storm's just already, like, you know, there now. Yeah. And then how do, when do we kick in the paranoia piece? Uh, that's, that's just going to be playing in throughout Act Two. And it very, fits very well because Charlotte, uh, we ended the last, uh, scene was with Charlotte stalking Greg. Right. So, but do, <clears throat> Do we decide in a scene how to play out that paranoia on on whatever level, or or how is that decided? Um, it, it it's uh well basically the somebody is watching and waiting. Uh, that basically fits Charlotte very well, yeah. so that's how it's going to play out. Charlotte is watching and waiting because that's what she okay. was doing anyways. Okay. Well, I was I would just assumed it was um it would be. Gavin, though, because I don't really know too much about his motives other than... <laughs> Stop trying to say, throw I've, Gavin under the bus. Uh, I've got some watching and waiting for Gavin to do. Yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, if he wants to... If, if everyone wants to get involved, I mean, if everyone's going to try to undermine each other, go for it. If you want to oh, do I that. Could, I could save it for the aftermath. <laughs> 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 do what your character is gonna do all right so uh re resolve the scene all right so the storm uh like is it just kind of like the start of the storm like we can see it on the horizon kind of issue or is it just like boom it's already here and then greg's just trying to like all right we kind of need to go now kind of thing by the way it's, uh, we need to go now <laughs> yeah i would have it on the it, like it is past the horizon and it is coming in and it's coming in faster than expected okay and uh so like yeah, it's gonna so be he, here within a couple like within two hours kind of thing yeah yeah right. but it's already getting windy and bad and so it's making his job that much more miserable to load the truck all right cool so yeah i'll be doing that and i'll i'll, I'll look for jenna and all right all right jenna you you, you, got, you got the truck put somewhere I, I don't know where to 
where's the truck? We need to get the shipment ready, ready to go now. The wind's picking up. This shit's getting really hard to see here soon, and this storm's going to be very bad. Uh, I thought we were doing this later, what and... You, what do you mean later? <laughs> I, wasn't expecting the, I wasn't expecting the storm to hit so quickly. Yeah, that's how weather works. You don't expect it 100%. Now it's hitting right now, so we need to get this shit going. Okay, okay. We're going to have to, I guess, pull around back, and uh, where, where are we picking the stuff up from? All right, so we're, we're stopping, you know, at, the, at Scott's, Scott's hut, remember? We need to drop. It. We need to do it there because it's secluded from the area. So have, load it up I there. I have a stinking suspicion we're going to get snowed in. It, 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 the storm is coming. So you know, if you stop complaining and thinking about it, if you do it, if you just go out and do it, we won't have an issue. All right, all right, all right. We'll take care of it. Okay. So uh, I assume Jenna's just going out to move the truck. Yes. <laughs> so Jenna moves the truck. Uh, she gets to the spot. All right. So uh, can you help me unload the stuff up? And I, do, do you want me to drive it? Do you want me to drive it to the you know to the destination, or do, can you do this? Uh, I think, I think yeah, I think uh, I can travel with the goods. Okay. I think I'm gonna shake off that new beef here and try to give this a good old college try. All right, well, let's hope the college try doesn't end up with some terrible repercussions. Did any of you go to college? Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> I assume because we're in Antarctica, we did some, some, like, some point of college. But, like, you're smugglers. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying it'd be saucy. Jenna doesn't sound too bright. <laughs> but, um... Hey, just because you went to college doesn't mean you're smart. Oh, no, I don't mean that. I'm, I just mean you've dedicated your entire life to making money the easy way. Crime! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's not what my dedication is. Could be, it's just, it's more profitable. It just turns out that's what it was. There there was a need yeah, in Antarctica, you, you, and I was there to You don't have it. to spend $100,000 just to make, like, 40 to 50 a year. That's right, I went there. Hot take. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, uh, Sorry. Greg's gonna start trying to pack up some of the contents into uh, into the truck. Is Jenna gonna help him out? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. She slowly makes her way, slithering out of the <laughs> the truck, just moseying being... her way around in the cold. I imagine she's just like going out of her way to be as unhelpful as possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right. Of course, of course. So, uh, yeah, we'll say we'll say we uh, loaded up. Uh, we got the shipment loaded up and ready to go, and uh, that's when the storm is like already full blown and like really, really bad. You can't do anything. So it's all right. So, uh, shit, definitely can't see anything, and I definitely can't hear much because of this damn wind. But we should probably wait a couple of minutes, or you know, an hour. For you know, at least the wind to die down just slightly a little bit, because uh, I really, I really doubt we can go because I can't see anything. And it just like reaches out, I can't see you, barely. What? <laughs> she, she reaches up back. What? <laughs> <laughs> just sit in the truck. Okay. I'll say when we're good to go. Just hand signals. Okay, gets back into the truck. <laughs> questionable if i saw that or not <laughs> all right so i guess we'll, we'll we'll end the scene there so uh you, you guys vote good or bad how we how are we thinking this is going to turn out i'm um, i'm going bad yeah it's going to be bad <laughs> all right so many black dice none of them are left <laughs> getting a black die and i keep my black die you be. <laughs> All right. Jenna's turn. She gets to establish a resolve. Uh, what are what is Charlotte and Gavin up to? Like right about this time at the. 
well, you can establish mm-hmm. the scene between uh, Charlotte and Gavin of what they're up to during during the storm. <laughs> Maybe Charlotte's out trying to uh, trying to stalk Greg, and Gavin's like, "Where the hell is Charlotte?" <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good idea. We all we all down for that? We can do that. Sure. All right. Cool. So yeah, that's the that's the scene. Uh, Sh- Gavin, I guess, is trying to find his partner, uh, Charlotte, who is up to questionable whatevers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say this is also around the same time of when the wind's like picking up and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Gavin's wandering around outside looking for Charlotte. Yeah. Or going from building to building, or probably, I guess, building to building, because you know, what kind of crazy person will be sitting out of the wind this time? Yeah, at... that's true. All right, hold, let's. All right, so we'll have him going from building to building, uh, and um, he eventually gets to the building where Charlotte is. So I don't know what building that is. Oh man, um, yeah, what building? Or or she could be wandering outside, <laughs> uh, between buildings. <laughs> Char- where's Charlotte? That that's your call, Jacob. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Um, 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 um okay. So I you two or at least just Greg, I don't care, but one of you two is in some form of mess hall or restaurant or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm literally outside the window, just like peering in. <laughs> But like it's the windows frosted, so you can't really see me. So So this is like a little bit even more before the wind picking up. No, the wind's still picking up. I'm an idiot. Well, (laughs) I was assuming this is during the time where I'm going out to find Jenna and get that set up. So you're suggesting, all right, no, you're in a mess hall during that time. You're supposed to be out somewhere else. So I I didn't think this was happening at the same time. Yeah, I thought Greg walked away he finished his stuff up and jenna's sitting in the truck right isn't that where we left the, well left he's the there thing? out like they're out in the middle of the storm next to scott's hut so he's not near he's not at the base he's at near scott's uh, hut. i didn't even know this was happening at the same time How far away is scott's hut from the base oh i thought we were closer to where they were okay i mean i guess you could if you wanted to it but uh, so I'm assuming this is like the the storm is just starting to be noticed, like on the, the storm is just on the horizon now, kind of thing. Yeah. And then yeah. Charlotte is looking through the window at Greg or whatever. All right, but this is before or after the truck? I kind of like before that. It's the right truck after the truck. Okay, that's it's before the truck. Okay. Uh, so uh, well, some Gavin's walking out, around outside. Here. Charlotte, what the hell are you doing outside here? Looking inside, you should be the other way around. I just missed him. You just missed who? Who else do you think? Oh, for the love of God, I told you to stay away from him. Greg's no good. He's just, he's the worst thing he ever had, and he's continuing to be the worst thing for you. Why are you wasting your energy on him? Because I'm telling you, he's up to something. Greg, up to something? What could he be up to? He's not smart enough to be up to anything. And he's probably dragging that girl with him, too, into it. Okay, Jenna? Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. What What could they possibly be up to? I don't know. But he's been able to drag me into things before, and... I don't know, I guess I'm worried about her. Well, I'm freezing my nuts off out here, so let's get inside. Well, I'm freezing my nuts off too, but uh, you don't see me whining. Ah, yeah, I think we have a different definition of nuts. But <laughs> uh, listen, let's get inside. Uh, do you want to go inside? I don't think we should go inside where Greg is. Let's find a different building. Wait, you know where Greg is? I thought you were looking inside at him. Wait, are, did we establish that finally? Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought were... we were all like, no, that's a terrible idea. Greg's well, somewhere that's else. That's what you were looking through the window at. <laughs> I thought I was just outside. Right, let me just step back. What are you looking through the window for? <laughs> You're just looking for him. You haven't found him yet. Yeah, I haven't found him yet. I just missed him. <sighs> well, then let's go in the mess hall, then, if he's not in there. What if he is in there and then he sees me? you will think I'm crazy or something. It's going to think you're crazier if he finds you outside looking in. <laughs> so if you walk in with me, then maybe it looks like we're just hanging out. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah, let's go. All right. All right so you want something to eat as long as we're in the mess hall? 
Well, sure, if you're paying. Sure, I'll pay. What would you like? You want some soup? You want something to drink? Do you think they have salad in up here in Alaska? Uh, sure, they probably have canned salad if that's what you want. Now I'll just go with the, with the burger. It's called spinach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, spinach is great. It's, it's really healthy. Now I'll nah, just go with the burger. <laughs> All right. So he comes back to the table with the food, the burger. Here's your burger. Oh, I got you a treat. Got you a Twinkie. These things last oh. forever up here. <laughs> Actually, I think they last forever anywhere. Immediately, like, forgets about the burger and starts unwrapping the Twinkie. This is going straight to my thighs. So, so what are you going to do when you find Greg? I don't know. We're thinking about, like, following him around or something. Figuring out what he's up to. And, and how do you think that's going to turn out to be a good idea? How could um, that possibly turn out right or good for you? Because I'm going to see what he's up to, put a stop to it, and then he's going to go to jail for a long time. I think it's pretty straightforward. So you're assuming he's doing something illegal? Well, of course. It's Greg. Uh, actually, I, I think... Side point. How would laws work out? Because Antarctica's, like, international land. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. It's because I am the law. <laughs> it's the wild west up here, knife. apparently. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's toting around a six shooter in the Antarctica. Jeez. I wanted one, but you gave me a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Continue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think you ought to stay away from it. Listen, I've got some more work to do on the base before this storm. I uh, shut some things down and put some stuff away before the storm comes in. You best stay out of there. Stay inside. Stay away from Greg. Don't worry about what he's doing. I can't imagine he's doing anything anyway. You're just going to get yourself in a heap of trouble. You don't want to get involved right, All right, if you say so. By the way, aren't you supposed to not be here right now? Well, it's exactly right. I'm not supposed to be here, but they're shutting down. The storm came in, and I'm not going to be able to get the flight out, and I'm stuck here now for seven bloody months because that was the last flight out. I'm so sorry so, for your loss, son. Yeah, I'm in a bit of pissy, pissy mood, and it's going to be for seven months of a pissy mood. Well, I'll make sure to bring some extra pads for you. Um, okay, so yeah, I agree. Fine, I'll stay away from Greg. You don't have nothing to worry about. All right, then. I hope that's the case. Thanks for the meal. You're welcome anytime. And totally uh, Gavin just heads outside. Totally going after Greg. <laughs> just like start like mm, scheming under my breath like in my head just like yeah. um hmm. so yeah that's that's the scene uh and then you get to uh, jenna gets to uh figure out what kind of uh who, who gets the die and what kind of die a big old black dice <laughs> well i never i got a free meal <laughs> you did get a free meal. Yeah, it seemed to work out well for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Brom's turn. Establish a scene uh, or resolve a scene with Gavin. I'm going to... Oh, I have to establish a resolve. Well, I'm going to establish a scene. Okay. Um, and it's Gavin walking around outside. And he notices the trucks running with Jenna in it. Okay, so this is like right when she, during the transition of when she's moving the truck to Scott's hut. Uh, yeah, I guess if it's that far away. Okay. Uh, other, or it was going to be she's just sitting in there waiting. So you're just like walking around in the, sto in the storm during Scott? Yeah, because he's taking care of all the stuff he needs to make sure, you know, stuff's shut down, stuff's put away, so and stuff isn't going to get blown. Come hell or high water, you're going to get it done kind of thing? Yeah, <laughs> he basically has a checklist and he's still in charge, even though he was supposed to go on a vacation and he is not in a good mood. All right, all right cool. We'll just sit there. Um, Greg is either like somewhere out of reach of the area or hidden in the truck for whatever reason who knows yeah he it could be he's yeah in the back there why this is going on and and gavin's not aware of it okay yeah he'll be hiding in the back all right so yeah uh oh, jenna no. you may or may not see uh gavin approaching you oh okay <laughs> so yeah i actually like the idea that that jenna's not going to see him 
show up. She's just doing whatever she's doing in her truck, in the probably, truck waiting. Probably bitching. <laughs> All right, Jenna. So, so what are you what are you doing in the truck? Oh, uh, it's just on my phone. I'm not getting any signal and kind of worrying about the storm and stuff. Pretty pretty sure Antarctica never gets signal. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a reason why we have sat phones. They're called satellite phones. I forgot. I forgot. Radiation straight to your ear. Yeah, please. Would like the battery to just explode the side <laughs> of my head. So as she's futzing with that phone, she suddenly hears on the the window right next to the driver's seat. Oh, that was a beautiful sound. What are you doing in there? Scares the bejesus out of me. I'm like, what are you doing out there? There's a storm coming. You're taking this up for a joyride. That's the worst thing to do at this point in time. You know, the last flight out of here is they're canceling it. They've got one more, and I can't even get to it. And it's leaving in about 30 minutes. Are you supposed to... You're supposed to be on that plane, aren't you? Wait. Yeah, I was They're canceling it? No, that one's the last one. Mine was coming after that, and that's canceled, and there's no way I'm getting there for the half hour one. So I'm done. I'm stuck here for seven months, but you've got to get this truck back. I don't know what you're screwing around out here for, but this is not the time to be practicing how to drive it. So i got to get back. I've got a whole checklist of stuff i got to put away and shut down and batten down. So I expect you to get this truck put back. I don't want to be seeing it out here when I come back. Uh, okay, yeah, no problem. It, it will not be here when you come back. And then you see uh, Gavin wander off into the storm. <laughs> what a badass. Presumably to his next, uh, his next stop on the checklist. <laughs> Sweating bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> All right, well, okay, so with that in mind, uh, there's Gavin. only one black die left. <laughs> uh, Gavin resolved uh, resolved a scene with Gavin. So, um, <laughs> oh, was I not supposed to resolve that? Oh, well, you said establish, but you ended up resolving a scene. So we Sorry. get to give you a die. Okay. <laughs> so we either say it's bad or it's good. I think it's good. That means. Oh yeah, I want to save the bad die. <laughs> well, we still have. It's the last die is gonna. So we technically can still have two black die. The last die is oh, a mild okay. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, the mighty the black die. But I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, he. It's like his end result is like he, he's just he's just gonna be stuck here. He's it's just like he's gonna get his shit done, and then he's just gonna bitch for seven months. <laughs> We're all gonna be stuck here, even if we pull this high stuff. Like, what? <laughs> There's le- that was he just said that was the last plane out of here for the next seven months. You should still be able to make it though. What after we make it all the way to the docks? Well, we've oh. established we've established a, a boat for our transport. Oh, it was a boat. Oh, I yeah, it was a that's plane. right. Can we retcon that to a boat then? Um, <laughs> well, I was trying to get in there that the boat was going to leave in half an hour. All right, then whatever your transport was was going to leave in a half an hour. Well, the tra- transport was uh, they're going to weather out the storm unless they're unless they said fuck it, we're leaving. And that's also a possibility. Right, right. Um, but yeah, no, we, I thought you f- uh, plane for Gavin and boat for transport. Got it. Because uh, a lot of their transports are actually planes. <laughs> Got it. All right, cool. Um, did anyone disagree with me giving red dye to? No. 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 Okay, cool. Charlotte. Yeah. So really curious because I'm trying to figure out what's going, what's going to happen in the next couple of turns. Um, with maybe you don't know this, but with the whole like Act Two and then going to Aftermath. Um. If we're trying to time everything out, is aftermath like, like, is aftermath you guys pulling off the heist, or do we pull off the heist with within these dice and then aftermath happens? Um. So in theory, like the aftermath kind of does like determine what happens afterwards or whatnot. Because I feel um, like the climax is going to be this heist going wrong or right right that's what i thought act two was but i just want to know if 
is the after like because i don't know how this game works is the aftermath going to be the heist or is the heist going to happen during these next five dice and then aftermath determines whether it was completely or successful or not I, like i don't know i thought act two was kind of the, all that resolution and of course i've never played this and then the aftermath was uh like a montage or whatever other scenes that sort of tied things up um but I may, I may well aftermath that. is definitely like you know the epilogue but need to right figure. right yes exactly the epilogue so if there were any holes to fill in or whatnot if you want to know what happened to certain characters that didn't get answered in act two that that's where you took care of that but act two is where basically it, it gets resolved right i think so i'm bringing up the actual book now to double check i'm just saying because i i don't obviously we don't want to do the heist now like i don't want to be like oh guys you're seeing you're heisting but like i also want to plan out like oh when should we start doing heist level scenes <laughs> so it says don't forget the last die is wild building across act two when the last die has been claimed uh, build towards uh, build towards this. The die are a pacing mechanism, so you've always got a good idea where you are in the story. Your goal should be to get your guy to a satisfactory conclusion or near one by the time the dice run out. So we get to the end where the dice are, and then uh, once that happens, mm -hmm. um, then the aftermath happens. It's okay. like all right, so, so it's like me me and Jenna. We got to the boat. That's gonna how it's gonna end for us. Yeah. So by the last dice, you need to be at the boat. Yes. And Gavin, he's kind of a, he's kind of a, a wild card here on what he's trying to do. That's fine. <laughs> he's the he's the utility character. He's the utility <laughs> character. Just you to can help add or hinder. Urgency to this, then can we? Because I got confused about the boat and the plane, so. Maybe in the same breath, he was saying, but you know, all forms of transportation were heading out early before the storm came in and shut everything down for seven months. Yeah, because because you guys have not only the storm that's speeding you up now, but now your boat's going to leave early if you don't get there. Right. Just there's the also the concern of like the storm is here now because there's wind. Right. It's just <laughs> right, right. Probably going to have a little bit of up and down for a moment, but yeah, the storm storm's already here. Uh, so they may be like you know trying to do some like quick getting out. Yep. So if you want to do that to add some urgency, then yeah, we can do that. Uh, Jacob, establish a resolve. Okay. You can tell me if this is too early, but I at least want this to be an idea. So <laughs> this scene is going to be. Where was the plan for Jenna and Greg to be on taking the shipment right at the same, like in the car at the same time? Uh, or, or they, they, it's, def, it's definitely playing it by ear a lot here. Okay. Well, so far this was my idea. Jenna and or Greg, you know, whatever combination you want, are currently driving the car. So we're in transit, and anything going on in transit? One of the boxes, one of the you know crates break or whatever the hell we're containing them in, or like what? No, you just start your conversation. <laughs> so just the awkward <laughs> ride of. Uh, so uh, all right. So how, how's Jenna? How's Jenna taking Ooh. taking this vehicle as she's trying to drive it through the storm? Oh no, it is a what we would call a mixed struggle. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna be sitting there, I guess. Uh, bright How's eyebrow raised. Working? So, uh, you, you struggling with that uh, shift there? Um, I've got it. She says she like clearly struggles. As you hear the gears grind. Yeah. <laughs> how long have you been practicing with us? Uh, how long have I been here? <laughs> So, so you've been practicing with it a lot, I assume, as much as, as long as you've been here, at least. Oh no, hardly like that. But <laughs> I, I, I told you a few to, times a week. <laughs> I told you you're supposed to be dedicated to learning how to drive this thing, to so we can be ready for this. Yeah, but it's just not really what I do. It's not really what I'm about, you know. <laughs> 
yeah, it's not. Yeah. But it's what you're doing. And it's what you got assigned to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, like, tap the brakes as <laughs> as uh, something appears in the road. and uh, Or lack thereof yeah. road. <laughs> or lack thereof road, yeah, actually. The, the, the lumpy way up to the docks. And then I try to shift it. And it's kind of stucky. So the shift's stuck. Yes. <laughs> what, what's going on? I, I don't. It's just. It's not. It's not moving. It's not doing what it's supposed to. And I'm kind of and freaking then, out because we're in the middle of nowhere. And then as you're arguing, you just feel the truck like wobble a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember, don't get stuck on an incline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it. All right, so he just walks. He just like walks over to you. What's going on? All right, so you're having you're, it, it's stuck. Yeah, it's just the shift is stuck, and I'm kind of panicking. You give it some force, push it really hard, and I mean harder than what you're trying to do. Uh, all right, and you see her give it as much as she can, but it's still not going anywhere. Ugh. All right. No, you know what? You you give it a try. I'm so done with the stupid machine. Fine, I'll drive. So he'll uh he'll change out seats. Um, and he's going to attempt to uh ch- you know apply pressure to uh shift the gears. Will it will it work or will it not work? Uh, roll for insight. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, okay. I'm assuming that's where you want to stop. Will it work or will it not work? Um, that's actually a good. That is a good yeah. voice to stop. Yeah, I guess uh, the point decide. of the you know trying to get it to. Good, you get it to work. Congratulations, your first red die. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And also, uh, Charlotte is stowed away on the back of the truck. Okay. Well, at where? <laughs> that was the wobbling. That was the wobbling. I jumped on. So she's just like hanging break. on on the outside, just weathering the storm. <laughs> yes. God, what an oh. insane woman. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you like felt a slight wobble and just paid no attention to it because you're messing with the gear shift. Actual maniac. <laughs> Actual cannibal. All right. So, uh. That's Charlotte's turn. It's my turn. All right. You need to start wrapping up the story. Uh, hmm. Well, we've had a scene with Greg and Jenna twice. We've had a scene with uh, Charlotte and Gavin. Uh, hmm. I feel like the scene needs to bring Gavin into the fold. Like, because we're all three now approaching the same destination. And now Gavin needs to get included by somehow... Right, and obviously, so, the easiest one would be noticing that I'm gone. Yeah. So Gavin <laughs> is—he's uh, got his. Let's say he's got his checklist done or whatnot. He's returned home. He's returned to the base, and you know, kind of notices that Charlotte's not there. Dun dun dun. Now, so, am I not supposed to resolve the scene? Are you guys tell me how to resolve? Uh, it? You, uh, we I established the scene, so you're resolving it. Ah. Okay. And then uh, we'll uh, we'll add whoever, whatever NPCs or whatnot uh, appropriate to when they do it. Okay. All right, Charlotte. Um, I'm all done with the sh- with my chores. So I got through the checklist. Um, Want to make Charlotte? Mike from accounting is sitting at a desk. Hey, Charlotte Mike. hasn't been here all night. Charlotte hasn't been here all night. What? Well, I guess she showed up a little bit, started looking around a little bit, flipping over some tables, not like completely, like checking under them. And then she just kind of stormed out. Oh, for the love of God, she's, she must be looking for that Greg fool. Oh, that uh, Greg fool. I hear he's a real just like terrible person. Oh, uh, he's the worst of the worst. You sh- you stay away from she Yeah, that's what that woman on the docks told me. Yeah, she thinks new driver. Uh, yeah, he's well, he's yeah, that's his job. I don't know that he's terribly competent at it. So, have you seen Greg? Have you seen Jenna? Have you seen any of them? <sighs> um, I have. I just saw Charlotte leave. To be honest, actually, those three people are the only people that have been out and about, really. 
well, that's just perfect. And uh, frustrated, you see Gavin just walk out of the office <laughs> and slam the door. <laughs> Man on a mission. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's uh, I guess that's the scene for Gavin. Um, He's going to hunting. I get to pick a die. Yeah, you do. <laughs> How funny would it be if he doesn't end up as destination? I'm going to give instead. you a black die for this of try because I don't feel like you're going to have much luck trying to find Charlotte. That or I know, right? But no, hilariously, I don't think we should do this. But hilariously, it's like we all three resolve our own scene. And then Gavin's scene, like, as we finish up, is just him, like, fighting a bear in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just doesn't get to his destination in time. And, like, this bear just it starts dies. going Let's at it with him. Falls. Yes. <laughs> it's his like old nemesis, a... like a scarred bear. It's like, all right. Because we keep saying he's, like, kind of not part of the story somehow. Like, we made it that way. So it's like, just this is his resolution. This is his climax. Or is he? <laughs> it's like, yeah, or is he? It's like, I'm going to defend this place if it's the last thing I do. I got a checklist, dang it, and just <laughs> suplexes the bear. Well, I got... <laughs> uh, that's up to Gavin to decide what's going on, that or the party to peer pressure him into doing that. <laughs> All right, so uh, Jenna's turn to establish or resolve a scene. So right, the situation so is Gavin's going out to find Charlotte or wrestle a bear. We don't know. <laughs> Charlotte is stowed away on your truck. Charlotte is a, a utter mad lad <laughs> on, this, on the truck while the winds are blowing. Um, and yeah, Greg, Greg is now assumed commandeer. He's got the shift gone. Um, and Jenna's just probably dicking off of their phone again. Um, so this is, about, this is about part of the game where we wrap up and resolute our parts of the story. So uh -huh. I am going to establish a scene between Greg and Charlotte where we get to our destination, the docks, and he starts to unload the truck and you're there being a crazy person. Heck yeah! <laughs> so, uh, where's Jenna in all of this? Just sitting in the truck, I guess? Um... Because you technically would still be in the scene. Yeah, I guess I would be. You're just a, you're just a supporting character, I guess. Yeah, probably more of a supporting character because this is not my conflict. This is not not my. Uh, and remember, not my circus. You have a butcher knife, so. Uh, oh, I know. Okay. I've been waiting. Okay. I don't remember. Like right, so yeah, we'll scene one. Pull up to the docks. All right, now look back to Jenna. All right, we need to we need to start unloading all this stuff. I'm gonna make sure the coast is clear. We'll get it stored. We'll get it stashed away in some non-disclosed spot that you know the usual spots. So that way they can they can take it and get it stored on, and then we're done. Got it? Okay. All right, just the usual spot, back and forth, right? Yeah. yeah. All don't, right. Don't wander out. Just do the same routine. You'll be fine. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of the Delta. Look around. Um, and like when we stopped, I like obviously hopped off and like I guess I'm like behind a tire or something or like underneath, you know, just out of sight. Okay. Waiting. All right, Jenna, we can start unloading. I'm not seeing anyone nearby, so just hurry up hurry so we can get out of this damn storm. And hand it over. You're in the truck. You're in the Delta. The oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, I came out with you, but I never said anything, XD. Technically, I am still in the truck. So, yeah, Jenna gets out of the truck and moves around in the back and uh, urges Greg to hand her the first barrel so she can. or whatever we're moving. So, is, is she in the truck or out of the truck? Out of the She's truck. Not, I said she out. So he just all right. He gets into the truck and he starts, you know, handing the crates and whatnot, or try, trying to move the crates to her. All right. So I'm taking off out yes. of out of the scene. Yeah, I was gonna say. So she grabs a barrel and moves to the designated location. <laughs> you you yeah. start move one. I uh, get a couple of them set up outside the truck. And as he 
and as he turns around, I'm standing there with a knife. <laughs> Does Holy he drop shit! The what barrel, the? Or what? He, okay, I'll Charlotte, say, what the hell are you doing? Or hold his composure. Um. <laughs> well, he has a crate, so uh, yeah. we'll say. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he's kind of holding it, but he like like slips up a little bit, so he's like trying to you know <laughs> ex express uh, distress of hold the sight of Charlotte while like also juggling this damn crate. <laughs> shit! What's in the crate, Greg? Contents. What? What are you doing out here? The fuck are you doing out here in the storm? You said you got your act together, Greg. Yeah. Yeah, it's not snowing here. I don't know what you want. She, she walks a step closer. You he lied to me, Greg. Takes a step back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your mother always warned me how much of a liar you could be. But I trusted you. When did you speak Every to my mother? Time, we were ex-lovers. Yeah, oh, that actually, actually that established when were we ex-lovers. <laughs> was it an Antarctic fling, or were we together before Antarctica? That's very important to the story and my reactions here. <laughs> and and the crazy thing is, your mother's been dead for years. <laughs> <laughs> really crazy. <laughs> that actually also sounds hilarious. <laughs> so, all right, Jacob, how crazy is, is Charlotte? <laughs> and I'm going to establish that as my reaction. You know what? Your mother's been dead for years, and I may be listening to voices that don't exist now. I might be crossing reality. Like, you're actually a criminal, but I'm probably crossing reality and my own fantasy at this point. Alrighty. <laughs> Wait, how are you speaking to my mother? She's dead. Also, like, you, there's not that much communication outside of Antarctica. We've only been together while we're in Antarctica. We met in Antarctica. She what are you doing you out in the storm? Your, she says you don't return her phone calls, Craig. <laughs> she says she needs to talk to you real soon and then, like, pulls the knife out of the coat. Oh, God damn it now. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Are you seriously that upset? Over our relationship. I told you I'm sorry, and you really need to let go of it. Can you I are stab really the disturbing me now. Can, can you? Can I stab the barrel? Do you think it would go uh, through the barrel? Stab the crate? Uh, hmm. It would definitely go. It would definitely go in the wood. Yeah. Um, can can stuff flow out of it? Uh. Yeah, actually. Um. Uh, you you st stab uh, it, but uh, actually, no, you wouldn't be able to really... Uh, it depends. Uh, you're trying to stab with a butcher knife, correct? Yeah. You're not going to make much progress. Darn. It, then if you, like, enough. you know, slam into the into it with a butcher knife, then that's a different result. Though also still sure. probably wouldn't go as much. I just want to show the cocaine, dang it. <laughs> There's no cocaine in there, actually. What is in there? What is your contraband? The barrels of pee. <laughs> God damn it, it's always back to the piss. <laughs> I'm exporting piss, damn it. No. So, uh, I've already established this. He's exporting live penguins and polar bear meat. <laughs> Bastion. Which one's in that crate? Uh, well, all right, party time to decide what is what's Who's in the crate. The live penguin. <laughs> I, I'd like so now... to go in, and we hear this god awful screech that you can't place to any known animal. <laughs> I say now I'm definitely like stabbing the thing. I'm just like waking up the birds. Like oh, all right, for, for because rule of cool, we'll, we'll establish you stab into it. <laughs> yep, and then a bunch of penguins start squawking, and I'm just like, <laughs> and then I just look at you, tilt my head sideways a little bit, and be like, "You've been a bad boy, Greg." <laughs> I, I would like... run if I were you. By the way, <laughs> yeah. So he's like, so he just kind of like, instinctively just like shoves the uh, thing to her. Um, yep, Charlotte falls over. And then he's gonna rush over to Jenna. <laughs> or he's gonna rush and towards the direction with Hot pursuit, and that is seen. Hot pursuit of high snow, so I imagine this is a very slow pursuit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're both high kneeing it. <laughs> I hate this damn place. 
Uh, All right, that's the end. <laughs> Um, I can't believe I, I concocted this nightmare. <laughs> yeah, you did, and <laughs> now you're getting involved. So who gets the red die? Me or Greg? Yeah! That's I'm gonna murder him. <laughs> no! <laughs> Gavin, your turn. <clears throat> Alright, pull yourself into the story somehow. You got this. Or tell uh, your own story. What's Gavin up to? What's he what's doing? What's Gavin up to? The storm's raging. There's penguins squawking on the docks. There's <laughs> <laughs> insane so, woman chasing after Greg with a with a butcher knife, and Jenna's about to be caught up on this. So yeah, Gavin, what's up? <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I've got well, I have a thought for even an aftermath here, so I'm thinking too far ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's just do uh, just a, uh, all it is is just a visual. Okay. Uh, you see um, when Gavin walked out of the office looking all frustrated, you see him looking around and uh, he wanders off to a different storage facility and pulls out uh, a pretty uh, high end looking beefy uh, uh, snowmobile. I mean, something that's, that's clearly going to be able to handle this storm. And he climbs into that and, and heads off. Presumably in the direction where, where you guys had gone. Okay. So like just like feels he, he has the intuition. He's like, I'm I think I know where they're at. Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's been in this he's been in this game for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. All right. So is that just what we're gonna go with? Or um because uh feel like we need to put in a little bit more effort than just that's going on so like uh, establish like either you can establish a scene for like what gavin's seeing or like gavin is rolling up as he sees this pathetic I'll say you could, yeah start the scene with you rolling up somewhere uh either to yeah, right, just you, Jenna you, oh yeah or... you can, we can because uh we can roll up to the fact of you okay you roll up you hear the squawk you go to the docks and then and uh, you see the truck we, and then yeah. <laughs> And then uh, we, we can wrap it all up with Charlotte. Uh, yeah. Uh, all yeah, right. Sure. Yeah, he's he's in there. You see all the um, but he sees the penguins and stuff. And um, and let's have a visual of a bear wandering around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, there's a bear somewhere within the vicinity of the docks now, with some just penguins I trying to cr like. Get their way, like they're squawking up a storm, trying to claw, the, trying to get their way out, squeeze their way out of the fractured box. Sounds like it sounds like mayhem. <laughs> and and just far away, and just like in a short distance away, there's a, a knee high pursuit of people <laughs> slowly trudging through the snow. Yep. Oh, he'll find the he'll see those footprints too. All right, see so that, Gavin. You pull up. What do you do? Um, he looks around and uh, he sees where the footprints are. He looks at the penguins, and it, you you see this uh, sadness and frustration in his face. And uh, you hear the growl of a bear uh, out in the background. And he looks up at it, looks uh, kind of cocks his head at it, like he's thinking. You're not sure what he's thinking, you know, is it a survival instinct? Uh, he has to move slowly or what? Uh, and then you see him start to move slowly following those tracks. Okay, so he's going after the tracks of the, uh, of the pursuit, of the pursuit. <clears throat> yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess uh, we'll go with that. You get your die. Congrats. You get the only die we have. <laughs> All right, Charlotte. All right. <laughs> So, this scene, Jenna places down the barrel. Well, we'll start with Jenna placing down the barrel in the spot. With three people in a line of unknown length. You know, because we don't know the distance yet between okay. all of them. Uh, heading towards all the same location. And a possible fifth entity. Hungry. And maybe maybe they're his... hungry. 
<laughs> and maybe has found some penguins and is not satisfied. <laughs> also somewhere in the area. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Jenna's just, uh, she turns around and sees that and Greg's like, Jenna! <laughs> Jenna, oh my god! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I put the stuff down and I turn around and I'm just like, what is going on? Charlotte's <laughs> being a fucking crazy bitch. Oh, what else is new? I mean, she's here being a crazy bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Oh, oh, shit. She's literally right behind you. <laughs> and they turn and they take off. <laughs> it's like, wait, like, what is she doing what? here? What have you dragged her into? Charlotte, mind your own damn business. Leave me alone. I swear to God, I'm going to put an end to this tonight. I am too. <laughs> F- fucking leave me alone. God damn it. So has Jenna actually started running? Like, she's yeah, just gone. I imagine she's I'm also doing the stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm taking the long way around you guys. If you're gonna turn him into a pin cushion, it's gonna be. I'm gonna run back towards the truck. Actually, what? That's that's my objective, and and the same direction of the truck would probably be where Gavin and the bear are probably coming from. <laughs> so yeah, we just formed a new line with Jenna running away from Greg, who's running away from Charlotte. <laughs> so I guess Gavin, you now see Jenna. <laughs> Um, and the truck, I guess. guess that's my objective. And her. So what happened to Charlotte and and Greg? i we're still running. They're chasing you, or yeah, they're chasing each other around. It's like basically Jenna. Uh, the way I see it, Jenna ran away because she's like, I don't want to be seen with Greg or the crazy woman or the penguins. Yeah. Then Greg obviously is running after her because he needs help. And then I'm chasing Greg. So we just formed a new line All right. of people. And, then I, and you're heading... And since they're heading involve... towards the truck, we're going to cross paths. All right. And then how, how do we decide resolving this scene, by the way? Or... Uh, I think we're just establishing it, because this should be the last die I mean, in a while. Yeah, basically, we can, we I can, decide who gets the die. We can uh, end it um, now, and then, and then kind of roll up the aftermaths, and then that will determine how this all ends, I guess. Uh okay so, work. all right well then then why Jen is coming back, uh, Gavin sees her and says, uh, yells out, Jenna, is that you out there? <laughs> Not now, old man. <laughs> what, what in the hell are you doing out here? Oh, I'm really serious. Not now, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Charlotte? Have you seen Greg? Oh yeah, I've seen them. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna kill both of these freaking <laughs> sweet crust. So, I'm like clawing at the side of the, the, so the, rest the of truck. Them trying to get, yeah, they're running after me because Greg needs me to get out and he's also trying to get away from Charlotte. Oh, Jenna, Maybe what trying are to you, get away from Charlotte. What are all of you doing out here? I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking running away from Charlotte! <laughs> and right then, the bear appears. <laughs> yes. And it lets out this ferocious roar. And and if we do a fade to black, then we can do the after. Yeah. Do this the after. yeah this is perfect. I just love this. <laughs> Jenna just wants to get paid. Greg uh, trying to survive. Greg, Greg wants to get out of the fucking <laughs> town. Everything. Charlotte just wants to kill people at this point. Gavin doesn't know what's going on, and then there's a bear. <laughs> so, all right, who gets the last die, and what color is it? Oh no! And what, Can we you get all to just decide get a black how the wraps up with that die. Yeah, the story is wrapped up with this die, and then we'll start rolling for the aftermath. Oh, all right. Hmm. What, who, what, are you, what are you going for, Jacob? Gonna give Greg another black one? What, this is gonna end it, badly for him. What if I want it's in everyone's death. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. Uh, it is a possibility we could roll that because I think now that Jenna has been dragged into this and is kind of now 
in the open as not an innocent southern girl. Mm-hmm. Um, black dye for her. All right. So, so now, how do you give her? Been found out. Black dye. If you just gave her the red one, I don't understand. Uh, well, the last one is wild. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So with that, we go to the aftermath. So roll all the die in front of your character. Total them by color, as in the tilt. And then consult the aftermath table. How do you grab all of them and roll them again? Uh, like a uh, box. Make a box like a click and drag, and then hit R a bunch of times. Alrighty. So, um, what you do is the you sub you subtract the lowest color, lowest numbered color from the highest. Okay. Lowest number. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and so your you add uh, up your middle your one there, I guess, was your black die, so that counts as black. Oh, okay. So you add up all your colors and then subtract them from each other to where it's a positive number. So, like for me, it's five minus four. Okay, so mine is ten. All right, so mine is nine black. Fifteen minus four, I guess. Yep. Mine would be like twelve minus four. Yeah. Okay. Eight black. I am one black. You are one black? Oh yeah. god. <laughs> This can only. I have. I'm not reading yet. I'm figuring this out. I got eleven red. Nice. Eleven red. Wow. So that that would be white. So you look to where you uh, you score. Uh, so this is for what happens for my character. Yeah. This is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens white. for your character. So we'll read off. I'll read mine. Jenna will read hers. Uh, Gavin reads his. Charlotte reads hers, and uh, we'll play off of based off of that. So. Mine, Greg, nothing to write home about. Back to where you started. Maybe sore and broke, just like yesterday and tomorrow. You probably learned something tough. Or you probably learned something, though. Like how to do it right next time. Next time. Jenna, same thing. Yeah, I got the exact same thing. Gavin. Uh, Let's see. So it's hard for me to read. It's so tiny. Old alt. Uh, yeah, I did. I did all. And if you uh, you can yeah, you can zoom to make it bigger. Oh. oh, there we go. All right, uh, not too shabby. This is ten of twelve. Not too shabby. You've made it out with dignity intact through some fluke. There might even be a little profit or self-respect or something. Time to throw a little party for all your friends. <laughs> all right, I got one black. Horrible. You are probably dead. Other people, probably innocent people, are as well. There is no justice. There is no mercy. Everything is utterly painfully screwed, and that is all. All of it. Your fault. So I so imagine... can that override your guys' like, whatever stories? No, it is not. I'm not gonna let you do that, but I can let you destroy the entire shipment in the process of you getting fucked up. <laughs> because that would also ruin ev- that would be, you know, you, me you and Jenna walked away there. broke. <laughs> The bear went ham on our shipment and mauled you. <laughs> there are, there is polar bear meat, which might it might not be after, and also penguins. So, so me and Jenna may this. walk around. Me, me and Jenna can probably walk out of this. We'll still be alive, but we'll probably be roughed up at the very least. And I... our shipment is not going to be intact. I can. Oh, okay. Which yep. means you lost money, which means you're stuck here. No money to get back home or to make a living. Yeah, but I made myself scarce and Well, you're there with the bear <laughs> too. <laughs> well, I know, but like at, we're talking about like the aftermath, right? So mine was nothing to write home about, but Bob made a profit. I meant Gavin. Gavin made a profit or something. And I was thinking, I, after I made myself scarce, I I left one of my loot bags with some of my cash stashes back at uh, the office. Well, we're not we're not resolving the aftermath. We're resolving me. how this scene's ending first and how that plays into the aftermath. Oh, okay. Well, I think the bear clearly killed Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's narrate the story, Charlotte. 
how how is this bear determining this factor and making it ruining and ruining it for me and Jenna and how somehow and then Gavin well brainstorm how Gavin's walking away like a champ. Oh, I know how this is. I have it all tied together. Are you okay. ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. Story time with Jacob. So, the bear, as we left off, uh, lets out a huge, uh, ferocious roar. All of you hear it immediately and stare up to the horizon to see a white, I'm going to assume polar bear. I forget what. We're in Alaska, right? We're in Antarctica. Oh, we're in Antarctica. Yeah, I don't think they have polar bears there. Polar bears. Oddly, it's a it's a brown bear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a black bear. <laughs> or a black bear, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> but anyway, it's the legendary bear. Bra- black bear that has never been seen, but only t- the tales have been told of in Antarctica. Yeah, but anyway, it appears and starts sprinting. Actually, no, that's a stupid idea, because it's all. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's not. Anyway. Roars, charges. <laughs> Everyone with their wits about them uh, immediately either runs into the truck, actually into the truck. There's no, you're in the middle of nowhere. Well, not the middle of nowhere, but by the docks, there's buildings ish. Yeah, ish. Either you're running toward the dock buildings or you're running toward the truck. Doesn't matter. Charlotte follows Greg and Jenna, no matter where they decide to go. <laughs> not concerned at all. <laughs> the bear chasing her? Yeah, you guys. I said you guys noticed. I didn't. Ah, okay. I am like blinders <laughs> focused. Um, so I'm immediately still chasing after them or whatever. Uh, the polar bears e slashing at barrels, like chomping down penguins left and right. Uh, poor poor pangos. Um, just like tossing them into the air his buffet he's never had a meal this large just before penguin uh, just penguin bits go everywhere <laughs> yes and uh so you guys decide are you doing building or truck um where do you immediately run to i'm going to a, a building i guess and jenna is probably like really getting into a truck now Gavin, Jenna, uh, what's Gavin doing now? So seeing this bear, or are we just gonna like after it mauls down Charlotte, he's gonna start wrestling the bear now? <laughs> I've got a plan. Okay, I, just tell me where you're going. That's all I need to know to finish this. Uh, Gavin is oddly just observing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, Jenna. I'm scrambling into a truck. Truck, okay, and then Gavin went for or Greg went for building. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm following Greg first because Greg is n- enemy numero uno. <laughs> so there's a struggle, there's running, there's knocking over, you know, random cargo to try to get between that between me and him, and um, he eventually gets into a building and locks the door. And I'm sitting there pounding on the door, like trying to break it down, like trying to stab through it with my knife, trying to, you know, do everything I can, you know, angrily. Find another building to hide in. I'm not (laughs) helping you. Also, run. There's a polar bear. And then I go hide in. And then immediately my leg gets like grabbed and I like, and I like get taken out, just like dragged out or whatever, like a horror movie. (laughs) Snow shots. (laughs) The bear grabs you and does its thing. Nom. It does its thing, and I get ripped to shreds, and the cargo is destroyed. Meanwhile, uh, I was just kind of uh, imagining Gavin, it would just tackle you into the cargo and just bursting everything. Meanwhile, Gavin, being fully prepared, going into a snowstorm, he knows about the the, the snow bears. Oh, he knows this thing. Let's Gavin tell us how what's Gavin doing. So he's got a flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Gavin grabs a flare gun. Yes, and he. He fires it off uh, to startle the bear, and he races to the the door because Greg and Jenna are inside the building, well, right? Gre- Gre- uh, uh, Greg's, Greg's inside the building. building. Jenna's, truck. Jenna's in the truck. Oh, Jenna's in the truck. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so, w- oh, that's right. You guys get out. You guys don't die, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, but you get out poorly. Okay. Our pride is not intact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you see 
you see Gavin first go over to Greg and says, listen, I've got the bear. I've distracted it. You get in that truck and get in there quickly, but there's something you need to do before you get in the truck, but you've got to hurry. Come with me. He's just like, he trusts, he trusts Gavin to not fuck him. So he'll, all right. All right, fine. So then, and then you don't see what is the thing that he was supposed to do for him. And the next scene is Gavin banging on the window again, like he did before scaring the crap out of Jenna. And he says, you got to get out of here. Gavin, get in the, or Gavin, Gavin, (laughs) Greg, (laughs) get in the other side, get going. The bear's coming back. I'll keep it off you, but you got to run. I've only got one flare left. Where are you not coming? Are you, are you help trying to help Charlotte as well? What's going on? I'll take care of it. I, Charlotte's in a heap of trouble out there. Just go. You got to go or this bear's going to get you. All right, Jenna, just punch it. Fucking back up. Something. <laughs> yeah, I'd take off. Does not get out of here. Gavin can die for all she cares. <laughs> and do I add to this scene or do I add this in the uh, You You add to this scene, I guess. And then okay. we'll talk As about Okay, as they drive away, all those supplies that he was uh, taken, uh-huh. like the majority of them are sitting on the ground there. <laughs> That's Okay. <laughs> They've been taken off the truck. Yes, they've all been uh, stacked beside the truck, yeah. so they left the supplies. Uh, yeah, that was the, the the thing that he made Gavin do before he got in the car, but that was going to be shown in the aftermath, but that's all right. Ooh. So you... Oh, and and then, oh, you see Gavin walk over to see um, uh, the, the body. <laughs> you see the ripped up body of Charlotte, <laughs> and he just shakes his head, and you hear him say, fucking amateurs <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah with that we'll discuss the aftermath so yeah greg's just sitting there smoking uh outside of the mess hall and god fucking damn it lost all that fucking work it's just where's jenna and i because jenna's also probably well jenna also took a big hit with the thing but how much money did she have stolen from the operation is the question well I, you're I all, honestly you're also think stuck here. That, yeah, the gen is like laying low with some poopy waitressing job somewhere closer <laughs> into the town, and she left her nice bag of cash back at the office. So you're now stuck in the mess hall. And probably yeah. with that kind of failure, she probably lost a lot of her connections. Yeah, for <laughs> certain. I lost millions of dollars worth of penguin. Um, and then I want to add something. Gavin, the way he also made a profit, is he was recognized as a town hero for stopping some unknown crime lords from smuggling innocent penguins out of the uh, country. Yeah. Continent. And, uh, and I'll add in one of the scenes you see um, where he's looking at the body of, uh, of Charlotte. You see him reach into her outer coat and pulls out a couple of pieces of raw meat, tosses them away from her (laughs) and says, bit of a mess you made there, honey bear. And you see the polar bear wander out and eats those last couple of pieces of meat. And he says, you better get back out in the woods. And and the honey bear uh, runs back off out in the woods and... uh, (laughs) Gavin climbs on his snowmobile and heads back. <laughs> what are you like friends Gavin with the bear? bear whisper. And as he's walking away, he says, She always was. Charlotte was always a crazy bitch. Too much of a risk keeping her around. <laughs> you were my friend. I trusted you. <laughs> oh my God. Like that. And that's how you play fiasco. God damn. <laughs> I even tried to make you a town hero, you jerk. <laughs> oh, he could still be a town hero. Oh, well, I know. I'm, I'm just the saying. Town hero. I'm the town godfather. I'm the town zookeeper. <laughs> He's everything. I, I he imagine the town. to give Greg a bone once the storm, like once the seven months are up, he manages to smuggle himself out with <laughs> nothing to write home about. He has nothing paid off from it. He's just like, <laughs> was supposed to have some money in the pocket. And it's just like, I'm at least out, but I have nothing to really start with. And Jenna, probably being the scrub she is, trying to figure out what to do with her 
with her new job as a mess hall attendant or whatever. <laughs> I, I guess if I had rolled poorly, I would have had the bear kill me. Um, well, if you roll uh, dreadful, you are certainly... Oh, yeah, you can definitely die with white. <laughs> <laughs> but he rolled pretty well, so I figured it had to go well. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's fiasco. So, um... I was about oh, to cool. say, what a fiasco. It was a fiasco. <laughs> was someone a twist ending. <laughs> someone died. As we all kind of figured it would happen. And it's just convenient how it worked out. Yeah. And not who we thought would die. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I didn't see, I didn't know that you, I thought the more black you had, the worse you were off. Not the other way around. Like the more even you were. So that was kind of a jerk move where Jordan was just like, yeah, throw back black dice at me. I dare all you right. do it. Yeah, I guess you just want a lot of one of them. If that's you, if that you have a like a lot of both, and it's a me- now I get why they were saying that. Yeah, black is hold- bad, but you, because white, you'll probably get you know, just right. you'll get less of a bad thing. But you don't want a mix of colors. You want more yeah, of one right. color. Right. Yeah. Now that makes sense because I didn't I didn't understand that when I was reading the book. And I got like cool. no dice. It is it is a bit weird, but like yeah, definitely if uh. If you, even if you're getting like voted on, doesn't matter if like, you know, people are giving you all the black and white dice, you definitely are getting more dice to roll with. So, right, right. All right. That was cool. Yeah. So, um, with that, um, I guess I'll thank everyone else for who is watching and whatnot. And I will leave relevant links in the description. And with that, we'll be done with this video.